Hi, I'm uh, Louis Le Terrier. I'm the director of The Incredible Hulk, and I have with me... I'm Tim Roth, and I play Emil Blonsky and The Abomination. Very nice. So this is a credit <laughs> sequence that uh, Cal Cooper did. Cal Cooper at Prologue. Prologue is his, is his company. Uh, Cal Cooper is a very famous uh, designer. I mean, he designs lots of credit sequences. He, he designed uh, the credit sequence for Seven, for example. He designed the Marvel logo, you know, with the flip book. He designed uh, some of the, I mean, he designed all of the Spider-Man uh, credit sequences. He's a great guy. And this was like, I didn't know what to do. I shot a lot of backstory flashbacks, not, not knowing where I was going to put them. And when we first screened the movie to an audience, and the movie was starting, you know, with Bruce Banner, with already with the, the, the monster in him, people weren't understanding if they were watching the sequel to Ang's movie, to Ang Lee's movie, or they were sh watching a reboot. They were very confused. Had they missed something for the people that didn't see Ang's movie? They were really afraid. So. Uh, an idea came about to, to put everything in an opener sequence which is also a note and an homage to the TV show because the TV show had this you know, the incident was presented in, during the credit sequence and, and that, that you know this was the first homage to the TV show I wondered about that I was, I was wondering whether you shot um, this stuff separately or, 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 or made room for it as you went along or I shot a lot, like for example the chair stuff, I shot, it was not in the screenplay, I shot because that was something I really wanted to do because of the, of my love of the TV, of the TV show, uh, you know, some of the stuff was shot afterwards, like, you know, the, the close-ups of the, of the army coming in and breaking into uh, the banners places and, yeah. and looking at the, the stuff, that was shot afterwards by Carl himself, but all the flashbacks were shot but not exactly knowing where I was going to put them. Where maybe it would have been a teaser, maybe it would have been in the credit sequence, not knowing. And if you notice in there, there's like tons and tons, tons of, of uh, Marvel references. Marvel references, <laughs> like, which are called Easter eggs. Because you've got Fury in there, you've got, got Nick Stark Fury, in there. You've got Stark, obviously. We've got uh, Rick Jones, who yep. in the comic book is the, the guy that he saves and eventually becomes his uh, you know, mm. partner. Um, and that's it. It's a good sequence, I think. Yeah, it's a great sequence. It sets the tone. Movie. It really sets the yeah. tone for what you're trying to do with the film. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's... it's, it's it, yeah. The Days Without Incident also came mm. out later. That's something I wanted to, you know, just to give it a time log, but not to, not to say five years later, or like, you know, I just wanted to do Days Without Incident, which really shows the, the time. Here, where you have the favela, yeah, um, is is this a, an amalgam of uh, of different favelas, or is, is this all one? Is this, this one? is this is this is the one. It, lots of people are asking us: Is it a CG shot? Is it a big model? No, no. this is the real favela. It's called Rosinha. Mm -hmm. It's it's in uh, it's in Rio de Janeiro. It's an enormous favela. Uh, Three hundred thousand people live in there, and you know, see, see they build on top of each other. There's no like you know. They have the best views, these favelas. I mean, they're like absolutely amazing. The it's the, the opposite ocean. of yeah, the normal <laughs> yeah. thing where you, you know the rich people are in the hills. It's yeah, exactly. here the poor people have the best view. <laughs> yeah, the poor people have the best view, and they top on they, they build on top of each other yeah. because they you know once a guy builds a, a house in front of you, you want to get the view, so you build higher. So they're like they really pile up, pile up. Here he is. There he is. Yeah. Bill Bigsby. It's funny. It's like what this, is this? What is this? This is the. the uh, it, I didn't know that. It's a courtship of. I mean, I didn't know that show. Uh, it's the. It's called the courtship of Eddie's father. It okay. is very famous. Now okay. I know it. And it's funny in this episode actually, Jodie Foster, ba baby Jodie Foster, is in it. She's right. quite cute. But I didn't want to showcase her because then it would have been easy no much to Bill Bigsby or Jodie Foster. No one would have yeah. understood. <laughs> And this idea of him learning to learning the was not also scripted. Learning Portuguese, watching TV mm. was not scripted. I actually thought at first it, that it would be watching telenovelas. And and John Scotty, the first AD, said, "Well, what about uh, uh, Sesame Street? Everybody knows Sesame Street." And and that's how right. a lot yeah, of people yeah. learn. Yeah, yeah, and it was fantastic. Now, talk, you should talk about this guy. It's kind but of this special. this guy, his name is uh, Hickson Gracie, Rickson Gracie with an R, but if you pronounce uh, Hickson. He's like a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu master. He's a, he's the brother of like you know Hoy's Gracie. I mean, the Gracies are like a very famous uh, martial you know mixed martial arts family in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think Hoy's was like the inventor of UFC or something like that. You know, I don't I don't really know all, all that much, but 
I, I'd seen actually Cyril Raffaelli, who, who uh, doubles you in the movie, mm. uh, who's a friend of mine, French French stuntman, told me, yeah, you should look at these guys. We were looking at like we were looking for a master, like an Aikido master or something. You should yeah. look at this guy. And we saw and I saw a video, and he was doing his stomach trick, which is like really absolute control of your body and and of your diaphragm. I was like, I have to have this guy. And actually, he lives, in, he lives in LA. He doesn't. And I remember when I came to the set, a bit of some kind of incident involving gunfire when I arrived, and you guys were shooting, busy shooting yeah. um, with with him there, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone was excited. <laughs> Not yeah. so much about the gunfire, yeah. <laughs> which was life-threatening, well, you know. but, uh, but yeah, but more about this guy, and, and I, I remember that. I mean, people were so excited. I mean, Colin, my makeup guy, had said it was his hero, one of his heroes <laughs> yeah, in life, yeah, yeah. you know. Luis Desposito also works for Marvel, was like, you know, everybody's right. like, you know, everybody knows him, and, and I, yeah. I thought it would be like a little wink-wink for people who are in the know, but actually it's like a broader reference, everybody knows him. Yeah. Uh, that, that beautiful girl is called Deborah Nascimento, she's like a, a Brazilian uh, soap star actress, like they have telenovelas in Brazil, very, very famous, and she's absolutely superb, and, and yeah. actually I think she might become the next big thing in Hollywood because she just got signed. She's rather um, kind of hard for any of the men to stand next to, I remember. <laughs> yeah. they, they would start passing out <laughs> from was, lack was, of oxygen. He was, he, was actually, he was actually hard working when she was on set yeah. because people were like, you know, hey, she's shocking, you know, look shocking at me. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> she's shocking me pretty. She was like, you know, Brazilian, like, like beautiful, tall, but she doesn't uh, seem to right. have much of a much of a care of how anyone feels. But no, no, yeah, no. And, and but no, she doesn't. Good, you know, know what's great? She's very young, and she doesn't know that she's very pretty. So yeah. So that was that. That's an idea I had. Like one of the first ideas. This I, I love. Yeah, this, this, yeah. this whole. Because I, I really wanted to have, you know, like in you know, you know, Banner is really. He's careful about everything he does. Yeah. And he's, you know, he knows that his body, he's a poison, and his body is. Uh, it's, it's, well, his body is lethal. His body, his body lethal. is lethal yeah. and, and in many, in more ways than one. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and he's really taking care of, you know, not getting so he's wearing gloves. But you see that yeah. before he's, he's getting rid of his gloves. So anyway, we, I came up with this idea for that shot. It's a little. Uh, Directy in a way, you know, it's like a little bit show off, but but that that was like the best way to show the drop and and and. I actually think that that stuff plays well, you know. If if I mean, you did it, you didn't. It's tight and it and it starts a sequence that ends. No, up, absolutely, it starts. You know. But that's the only. That's I really decided in this movie to race myself, not to make too, not to direct, to overly direct, yeah. you know, this movie. And I was really yeah. trying to to make like organic camera moves and stuff like that and but this was the only one that felt a little pushy but that well, really, it, it was important you know, it really told the story it yeah, it's it's setting the plot off yeah i mean and you you know there's there's a that's always going to going to be in the back of your mind it's going to it's going to rub you up the wrong way but you will it'll only be you <laughs> no but no no no, I mean, no because no I, I like sometimes in movies I, I i get disturbed when when it's when the director sort of shows up and mm. it doesn't make it any i mean you know it, it the shots are beautiful, but they don't tell the story. This shot actually told a, a real story, so it's that sufficient. was the only way to. Yeah, it's sufficient. I think. And also, I love where it ends up. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, yeah. And of course, those those things. So. so, this whole factory was not a bottling factory, and Kirk Petrucelli, who's the, an amazing production designer, and Dan Dorrance is 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 our director. Should talk a little bit about 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 how you made the sequences fit together because just you we're, we're now we're actually looking at Canada right? yeah it's actually you're in Canada now we, we just started don't shooting in yeah. Brazil I mean it, it's really like the exterior of the factory is in Brazil the interior is actually in Canada this was like an old rusty uh, you know glass factory glass factory, glass factory yeah. actually they were molding glass they were doing bottles there but it, for a long t this this place had been condemned for a long long time and it was about to Collapse to the floor. So this is the exterior in Brazil. So uh, and and we we said please please do not break it, it destroy up. it yeah. destroy it. You know we we actually they're they going to scrap they were it and put, like, demolish it demolish it and do, use it for scrap sure. metal. And we said please do not do it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's organic. It's everything I wanted. But it was not a bowling factory. And Kirk and Dan they they created this this bowling factory. Extraordinary set, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We were there for a long time. Long time you were there forever, yeah. Yeah. and it was like a dirty set. It was like you know, safe, safe in a way. I mean, you know, every, you know, one day it caught on fire. Remember the day? Yes, it, it did. <laughs> <laughs> the whole factory caught on Oops. fire. Oops. Uh, yeah. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Uh, walk out. Don't yeah. run. Walk out. That's right. 
um, see all that stuff, all these screens, I wanted to make it like very low tech. Because I think the movies that sort of go down, you know, don't age that, that much, it's because they're not the, the most super high tech movies yeah. like Aliens. I mean, oh, yeah. Alien, I always refer to Alien when, we were, like, yeah, when we were filming because yeah. uh, the computers, they're all like crappy, like Brazil. All these movies, they have like. Well, I like these. These remind me of these sort of the word processor that my dad had, you know, which was <laughs> high tech. For about a year, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it had orange. It had orange oh, typing. Yeah, yeah. I remember. So well, but all that stuff was there. It's lovely. So, yeah, this is this is like you know this was actually shot on. on but the this soundstage. design that you've got here is very kind of crazy professor too, isn't it? Yeah, it's, but like, that, that, that's what that Bruce stuff. Banner is, and in the TV show, he's like that. It's, it's that you know, super smart scientist, yeah. and 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 too smart for his own good. Yeah. That's actually real blood. Somebody, you know, you cannot cheat that. So you actually have yeah. somebody stunt guy, stunt guy, <laughs> pricking his finger. Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, and what did the, okay? No, I guess that's well, that's CG and all I that love stuff. Things like yeah, that. yeah. But what I like about this thing is it, it's Wait, the no. Hulk out in the bottle kind of. Yeah, thing. exactly. Like, yeah, you know, he sells this, that this Hulk thing like, out. Like, <laughs> and they explode. Yeah, I think it was really cool. And it broke the slide. Yeah, right? it broke the slide. <laughs> but you know, it was hard for Edward because like. Edward starting the movie for alone forever, like on this set, he was alone, alone, yeah. alone, like you know, talking to no one, doing all that stuff uh, that we shot, not really in sequence, and it was really complicated for him. Of course, he didn't have all these interactive. Screens. All this stuff like, came all later. That, all that stuff came later, so he had to, you know, really act in his head and and really. Well, you know, I think that's a good that's a good thing for actors. I, I, I you know, yeah. so for me, it's silent movie acting. You know. Of the old school, and I, and and if you can pull it off, it's a, it's it's quite a but wonderful like, thing. How you difficult know? is it when you're like alone? When you find yourself, I like it. Oh, yeah. but that's good. Oh, yeah, you're a freak, yeah. <laughs> I'm a freak, but but I do actually enjoy that that you know no dialogue kind of world of of um, you know of isolation. But it gets to a point. I mean, you know, we had that with this film. I I barely worked with Ed because yeah, yeah. he was going around the corner when I was running up. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah. But I think yeah, he handles it very, very well. I have to say, it was... no, absolutely. I mean, you know, but but, but that, when I met him, when we started working, on it, I told him you're going to be alone for a long yeah. time and and not talking to anyone. But that's and, and, and that's what I like. Yeah. Well, look at that. Who's that? Who's that guy? Um, Mr. Stanley. I was so excited. That that actually is the last shot we we ever did on on this movie. Really? Uh, yeah, it was Stanley because he's you know 83 years old. He's the busiest man alive. I mean, the guy. I was trying to get him in Canada. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm like doing mm. this, 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 and this. He's like super busy. He's got like you know many deals with many studios sure. going, and and he's still very very active. So finally, we got him in, in but. I didn't want just to give him, you know, your regular cameo that, you know, gets... No, I think that's yeah. why I think that gag really, really, really works. Yeah, yeah. Normally he was supposed to be a kid or something, but I was like, ah, you know, it's totally... Great funny. entrance, by the way. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Sexy. You had so much fun on that, that day. I spent two days me... flying around on helicopters. It's in it for about 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's funny, you're like, what do you want, what do you want me to do? I was like, have fun. You just, yeah, like, just, just look cool. And yeah. Yeah. Fly around. Remember when you, you said, I want like a Tom Cruise entrance. Like, yeah, I'll give you one. Look at that. Top class. Yeah. Uh, that shot, yeah, is funny. There you go. Low angle. Looking and then cool. it took off behind me and you cut to throw it, almost blew me over. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, no, you put it in. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. These helicopters are so much. So we should talk about William. Well, let's talk about Will. Yeah, that's uh, William Hutchinson. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's an amazing performance. And Peter Menza, the, the actor yeah. next to him, Peter Menza, whom you know, maybe from 300 and other movies. Yeah. Um, uh, I needed like a you know an actor that's like inhabited by you know has like demons hunting yeah. him, you know haunting him. He's got a few. <laughs> he's got a few, and and he, he and he and he's very good at calling them calling them back onto the surface, you know. Yeah. And he you know the wig, the the the, the mustache, the the bushy eyebrows. We you know, we wanted to be as close to the source material as possible, and yeah. Thunderbolt Ross looks like William. William it's a Earth. wonderful, a wonderful interpretation, I think, because I, I had worked with him a little bit here. You know, uh, we did some scenes together, but but you know, when I saw the, it complete, the performance complete, uh -huh. I think it's extraordinary. I think Absolutely. it really, as his son said, he nailed it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> his son said it. Actually, did, his yeah. son gave his, him yeah. a hundred-page essay on, on who hunt, is yeah. a General Thunderbolt Ross, uh, and he kind of stuck to it, didn't he? Really? Oh, Absolutely, yeah. he was like referring to that. Yeah, it's extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, 
it's not an origin story. It, it was important not to make it an origin story because the problem with an origin story is that you have to start with, you know, your. It's always the same thing, you know. Uh, the, the guy that happens, you know, gets bitten by the radioactive spider. Well, and yeah. So I wanted to do something a little different, and and everybody in, around the world, around the planet, where you're, whether you're in America, in France, in Senegal, in in Japan, people know. Who, who, what the Hulk is that you know what, that it's a guy that turns green because he's angry. Yeah. Uh, what's really interesting is the struggle within. Like, yes. You know, it's, well, we're uh, we're jumping in here at this point. We're jumping into. You know, it's been a while. He's on the road. He's trying he's to get away. Yeah, you know, exactly, yeah. and he's actually actively looking for a cure. Yeah. Um, on the DVD, you have uh, the prologue that uh, we shot you know the arctic sequence where oh he, i'd love to see that he tries to commit suicide that was an important sequence but we thought it was a little too harsh to put on the the, the movie release just because tons of kids go see that and you actually i you know and you don't want to start the movie with you know yeah. uh, a suicide scene i think it's 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 a little it throws it back Look at who very efficient. We're all very handling. good, except for there's one guy in there, I believe, who yeah. throws the whole thing off. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> a guy we'll, we'll, we'll point him out Al, to you. Al, uh, Al Ron, right. with like I, I can't pronounce his last name. He's V R J N. He's strange fella. A strange fella, <laughs> and uh, with a humongous ass. He's, 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 he's you'll see. He's, he's the guy. He's the, the only, only one that doesn't guy. look believable. Right? <laughs> the only guy that doesn't look believable is the real guy. Uh, that's Chris Owens. That's you, obviously. That's the guy putting the bomb that's that's Al he's the real guy he's the <laughs> he's the weapons advisor he's yep. the guy he's the actual guy that you drop off and I thought you got hit there you remember that yeah you I did yeah. The, if you if you guys want to replay that thing on your DVDs you'll see Tim Roth getting hit by got a one. shot of, yeah. <laughs> of wood in his face <laughs> and not bulging like you know keep on acting of course Boop. Yeah. You like that <laughs> There's there's nothing better to establish the the villain than having a dog him shoot, yeah, an animal. I don't know if he's actually dead. I mean, you know, no, he's not dead. No, he's, no, he's, yeah, it's it's merely drug. Yeah, he's drug. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. See that 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 works pretty smoothly because like the exterior shots were in Brazil. This was in this this God, was on the soundstage. I mean, you know that, that that's what having a great DP and a great production designer really helps you because you're like, oh well. I hope he's gonna yeah. get together, and he really does. And that's that's full that's Brazil. just below our um, yeah. That uh, that that, that, that that's, office, yeah. <laughs> that's Brazil. So that's that yeah. that this whole foot chase was actually shot in Brazil. In I a do favela. a lot of running in this movie. <laughs> so and, and I tell you, these guns, that equipment, all that stuff yeah. is quite heavy. And oh yeah, and it's hot and humid and hot, wet. And humid and wet. It was really wet because it was raining all the time. And we were all and. Yeah. But it was the one that we did here where we, it's just not, it's not, it's the one where we, uh, that's it, I'm chasing a motorbike Yeah, yeah. Oh it was my fun. God, well, that, was the only way, that was the only way to go as fast as we needed to do. Yeah. So what we did was to put like a, like a, like a remote head, like a, you know, yeah. a guided, teleguided head on the back or the front of a, of a motorcycle and the motorcyclist. Yeah. It's really tight for him. And he was like, yeah, like a couple of It was Patrick that was driving yeah. it, wasn't it? He was one of, one Patrick of my was a, yeah, stunt one, guys. Patrick yeah, yeah. one of your stunt doubles yeah. uh, was, was driving it, but he was like, you know. I kept catching him, I believe. Because it yeah, was it literally so hard for you. There's it, so many windy. Well, yeah, yeah. And also we were losing uh, we were losing connection with the, with the remote head. So That's sometimes right. we were going, we didn't know what we were shooting. So we were really afraid. So that stuff, that stuff is good. So that uh, Adrian Hine is one of the 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 few parkour kind of guys yeah. in America. He's actually really good. Uh, see, all that stuff is real. Like people, people yeah. still doubt that we went and shot in. The well, the most stuff you do in real, you know, in reality, the the more uh, you know, yeah. it's going to thrill an audience. Well, that's what I like. That's what makes you know this movie a little different from from the superhero movies that we've gotten yeah. used to seeing because. We really went around, really went around the world to shoot that. You know, we went in the Arctic, we went to Brazil, literally went to Brazil. So that, you know, to a real favela, we didn't, you know, sugarcoat it because we don't really have to. It's I think this is where I knocked a little kid on his ass. <laughs> I seem to remember I damaged a child. You, you da did you damage a child? <laughs> I remember point. when you throw the you throw it you threw a table up and it was and there were like some real bottles and the bottle hit a woman in the face. <laughs> But she was very happy. She was like, "Oh, Tim Roth hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice." This is an extraordinary experience. All of this stuff. Oh, that's fine. Being in this. 
Uh, Gosh, remember those vans? Yeah, those vans. We, actually, the van was dead at that time, so that's yeah. so pushed it in. Yeah, it was me pushing back, pushing the van <laughs> off camera, pushing the van and pretending. It's all high tech and big budget stuff. <laughs> yeah, high tech and big budget, <laughs> except in Brazil. But yeah, this is like a you know a sort of like a drug den, and people were like you know so happy that we're shooting and and sort of like. Very, all the very you know, we were running for three people's houses and they yeah. were very and welcoming. They were, they were so happy. Yeah. yeah. Pedro Salvin who plays mm. this guy. The opposite of that the, character. The, the, you see there's one guy there that's that's running and, and you'll see later on he's the guy that gets shot in, yeah. in the shoulder. His name is Ramondo. He's he's the sort of like big brother of the favela. He's the guy that is guy on the left there. The, oh yeah. The very fine actor. <laughs> <laughs> he had never done that and when I met him it was so nice when he was giving us the tour of the favela. That shot was really hot because remember we had like three cameras. I was down there. Yeah. You were alone with the camera. Because oh, yeah, you're we trying had, to connect. Well that. I was trying to connect but also I was trying to capture the, the sunset. It was very really hard to capture because uh, that day in Brazil was like the sunset was like. Seven that was also long. that was when that guy was in the, the martial arts guy, and that was when the bullets were coming the, out. So exactly, we had yeah. the whole <laughs> yeah. they had the, the SWAT team, the real SWAT team, out we, looking. We were we were on that rooftop with Tim, and Tim was like, "Did you hear that?" And he was like, "Yeah, I think it was a bullet." Yes, yeah, Tim, it, was it was a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, back in uh, yeah, Toronto, 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 in yeah. Hamilton, yeah. the wonderful Hamilton. Yeah, yeah wonderful Hamilton. You, you want to visit the yeah. sets of the Hamilton. The Hamilton okay. was amazing this for us. This is extraordinary. That, yeah, see, all that stuff, that, that's, that's like all you guys. created. That, yeah, yeah. That, that's Kirk Jelly and, and Dan Durrance, and, and they're cool, and they're, uh, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. All that stuff was fun to shoot. You know? yeah. they, they, This is funny. That's Nick. This, um, yeah. Nick plays the guy, the guy in yellow. He plays in X Men Three. If you've seen X Men Three, the guy that loses his arms and out, whose arms like, like uh, Wolverine cuts his arms and his arms grow back. And oh, I remember that. Yeah. You remember uh -oh. those, those goggles? <laughs> you couldn't see anything through. <laughs> you couldn't see anything through. <laughs> Fantastic. I, an idea. I was like, I want some really cool, like you know, night vision kind of yeah. scary goggles. Uh, I yeah. like, and they here's a blindfold. Yeah. Like, <laughs> run down here. Yeah. A very heavy metal blindfold <laughs> yeah, so and like stay run. On. <laughs> so it was like absolutely impossible yeah. for you to, to do anything and act. And, and you're yeah. like a good, great spot. Yeah. That's for Mondo. That's that's the that's the. Oh, okay. Of the that's actually real night vision. Panavision has this thing that actually you plug on your camera. There he comes. There you go. So that's one of the most vivid memory I have of the that's TV show when I was seven. Bill the Bixby, eyes. right? Well, the Bill Bixby yeah. eyes going boom. Yeah. They were going white, but yeah. This yeah. Is fun. This is. <laughs> and this whole this whole sequence, I wanted like you know, we you have several you know piece meals of the several piece, you know action piece meals, but I wanted like the first one to be different than the rest. Yeah. It more like. What I call and define to everyone, like as ghost and the the ghost in the darkness kind of a feel. I always I see, love yeah. that notion. You get little glimpses. You, you get little yeah. glimpses because you don't want you know people will be. Obviously that's wild. That's yeah, funny. that's funny. Yeah. But I remember when we were shooting it, you know, this guy, you know, cable rigs, and we had to, as actors, you know, okay, you've just seen a little glimpse here. You're not quite sure here. You know, you call it out in bullhorn and stuff. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> see, that's okay. terrific. All that stuff is fun, but that's what's fun about a. I wanted to start the movie as a horror movie, yeah. you know, and that's what I like. I grew up watching Frankenstein and and King Kong, and mm. you. And what's great about these movies is that they're monsters to start with. They they're absolutely scary, and yeah. you don't want them to appear on screen. You're really afraid. You're really afraid. And at the end of the movie, you can't wait for them to come back because they really appear. You know, yeah. they are the heroes. They are like the monsters with a big heart. You know. Sure. That was fun. That was good. I tell you, with these guns, when we were firing these guns, all that, all the you know, crap was raining oh, down yes. from the ceilings. It was and insane, yeah. And the so camera loud. operators. I mean, kudos to the camera operators because yeah. they were like really close to you guys. They were, and we. Well, I mean, it's hard for us to even keep our eyes up when we're firing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And these guys, are, yeah, were, yeah, you're really getting Yay. shot. Yeah. So yeah, it's all it's all that stuff. This was an extraordinary um, time with the with the plates coming up. Oh, the and plates coming up and everything. Yeah, that was fun. Actually, there was a. It was it was the Jaws thing. It was like that, mm. that's fun also. That's something. Uh, that's uh, great. That's a nice. Shot. That's that's when <laughs> the factory caught on fire <laughs> because right. of that thing. Oops. That that bomb actually lit the factory on fire. We had like tarps to make it like night because we were shooting daytime, and the tarps caught on fire. And and you know, in one tarp and then the second one, and seven. Yeah. 
that's actually you that's know quite gutsy shot. for like a PG thirteen movie. It like, is. You know, yeah. I actually thought you really pushed the edge yeah. on this. That was there that was cool. Yeah. Whoa. So that was like a cable cam shot because you're really low and you, you could you had to fly over Al. and you know See it you was Al. a steady cam up. Yeah. Bye bye. Al. Bye. Al. Nice acting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice acting. <laughs> I couldn't get the green off. By the way, it took ages. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was like some weird food coloring. But yeah, yeah it looks good. But no, I thought that you did a you really pushed the edge on, of the PG thirteen. I, I well, I we tr we tried to really to make people scared. You, you you need to be scared in order to hook the you need to yeah, scare yeah. the audience in order, in order to hook them up. You know? Yeah. I mean, we're all walking backwards to that shot, to that to that yeah. sort of like shot. That that's where we're aiming for. And then the reverse of yeah. you, because that's that's a whole of like that. Oh, like, oh interesting. Crap. Yeah, <laughs> but like, no, but that was really yeah. like you know that that defines the everything. Yeah, that was fun. Great, great chunk. Of it, yeah, right? thanks, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> that was the stuntman with a little bit of face replacement. <laughs> nice one, Pat. Brilliant. I'll take full, <laughs> still, full. Still, remember how much we dropped you on? Did the a thing? lot. That, yeah, that actually was hurting a lot. Yeah, it was, was a threat for you. Look at that. Descendants. So Alien was a reference, and I feel also a bit of what Tony did, Tony Scott did a little of that with the digital, going back to that early technology, digital stuff. Oh, you like, mean uh, uh, Ridley you know, Scott? Ri yeah, Ridley, oh, Ridley and, yeah. and Alien and, oh, yeah, yeah. and Tony a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, I was, I was always trying, well... It was dirty, dark, and right, yeah, I mean, uh, you industrial. Know, yeah, it was. It was absolutely. It was like low yeah. tech. It was yeah. like future imperfect, and I like that because these movies yeah. they last for a long time. They, I think they this was that. It was like seven. Also, Fincher was very smart in seven yeah. and making it like you know, sort of like you know, a super big American metropolis, but you didn't know where you were. You yeah. were like it was raining all the time, and yet they go a few miles away, and they're in the desert, yeah. and the cars are all black, and it's kind of it was great. Yeah, uh, I was trying to do that uh, in this movie because. And really, these are the movies that I can still watch now, and, and they don't feel dated. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Score is also very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't put like. like oh, well, I was watching something. I'm not going to say what it was, but I was watching it's something with my boys the other night because we always have movie nights, you know. Mm -hmm. And there was one movie, and it is a superhero movie where the music never stopped. Powerful. It literally never stopped throughout the whole movie. Oh, really? It was. Re it was. Re it's remarkably annoying when that happens <laughs> <laughs> because it's just as some guy having a synthesizer you know, yeah, it's just yeah like, it was oh, oh, horrible we, we have a lot of music in ours yeah, but music it, but it's there for reasons but and, it comes and goes and everything it's just just also it. the editing in our yeah. movie never stops we don't have some you know yeah pause it's just keeps the silence going. is good i mean yeah. silence is so important and yeah. powerful you know I let's think. talk about that scene because that was the first scene you did you this was my first was, day this I think. was the first day which I thought was kind of interesting because it was, although it was a very difficult scene to do, it was a, it was a you know, a scene before, I mean, just for us to get to the right pitch, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. Um, but, you know, I, it's jumping into a, uh, an area where I ha you haven't really had that much time to think about where your character has mm. been and so on. But this, these know, are the kind of scenes that, actor, it, it's actually good to start with a scene like this, because that's when you yeah. can... But you tune, have to make tune in your performance, and then you guess, and then right? you watch the dailies. Well, you have to guess. I mean, you yeah. guess, and then yeah. we guess together. Yeah. And then afterwards, you can always reshoot it and 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 do some additional photography if yeah. needed. Uh, uh, you nailed it, though. It was it was fantastic. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I don't want to tell you too much, but like it, you know, every time you were acting, it's funny. People were behind my monitors looking at you acting. <laughs> it was like no, it was like you know, so take you know. It happens twice when there's an explosion and when yeah. an actor is brilliant and is doing something great. So it was like I had like so many people behind the monitor. Like later on, you know, in the in the mirror transformation, yeah. the whole crew was behind the monitor. It was like, oh, what is what's that? Was one of my favorite things. Well, yeah, because people were like, so it was straight. It was so like an odd scene. That yeah. Look how thin Edward got. On yeah, because we're now at the end of our shooting when we're looking at yeah, him exactly, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he got so thin. He, he, he got. Was he like, not eating? Or? He was eating like, like this, this. no sugar. Well, I mean, he was cheating because he was coming in trailer like and eating sugar, but he was eating no starch, no, mm. no, no sugar, no fat. Was that just to, was just to keep his body? Yeah, just mm. super lean, nothing, just enough so he, he was not exhausted. He could keep on going, but I mean, you see all his bones, everything. That, yeah. That's like that takes up, that takes up. I like this whole sequence. I remember you guys went out and shot this um, 
I mean, we all got a few days off on the beach, basically, but you guys got <laughs> yeah. soaked. It got guys, so... Absolutely cold so wet. and wet out there. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it was written rainforest in yeah. this rainplay, but we're, I thought we were kidding when we were talking about rainforest, you know, emphasis on rain. And it's a real it was, deal. I was... I mean, it was like... I was literally drenched, and then I wanted to obviously some complicated camera moves and everything, as usual, and, and that created an amazing, like, bridge for mm. us to do, but it was amazing. It was great. I love that scene. That, that also was uh, when the two of you. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. when you and and William were acting together, it was like so funny. We had like, fun, yeah. you know. I mean, he, you know, as much he can, he can, he can, he can talk the ear off a donkey, but you know, he. I just made that up. It's quite um, <laughs> but I adore him. Yeah. And and to work with, to be in a scene with, you you really have to be ready. You have to step up and be and have your stuff ready for him because he can, he'll poke holes in you straight away. Yeah. Well, you yeah. See right. Yeah. Uh, see right through you. So he was. I, I found this to be fun to work with, uh, you know, in front of the camera and and uh, long conversations about the Hulk and stuff uh, on the other side of the camera too. That's like super uh, TV show homages. Like that's like of this here. Yeah, well, yeah. that's like you know the the big Hollywood budget movie mm. version of the TV show. I mean, we start the sequence with the the homage with the the, the actual you know mm. Joe Hanel uh, Lonely Man theme that everybody knows. Like yes, I mean, I know, that's I guess actually. So. W that's actually as much of a fond memory to people than the the, the show itself. I mean, you yeah. know, people are like so. Yeah. This was actually funny. I mean, this you know, is a, actually, you know, it's, it's 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 you know, it doesn't poke too much fun. It's kind of funny. No, but it's actually, that yeah. kind of stuff. I feel is needed. Yeah, and for me, that's what it is. It's like it's like he builds his life. It's like the myth of Sisyphus. You know, the guy mm. with the, the boulder that rolls over you know, the yeah, mountain. Yeah. That's what it is. It's like he goes over every time he thinks he's got something. Then he transforms into the hog and has to back, go back to zero. Mm. It's a little bit of a cheat. We cut yeah, scene there, <laughs> and then you cut the. Scene yeah, well, there was a scene inside. in there with uh, Greller, who's. I think this is. Yeah, that's, but this plays pretty well. I mean, you're pretty much saying the same same yeah. thing that afterwards you're saying, but obviously everything is on the DVD, so people are seeing that. But uh, uh, it's uh, it's important when you edit a movie not to be afraid of losing stuff along the way, just to. Oh gosh, yeah. It, yeah. You cannot lose the audience, and they feel that you've got something, but you know. Don't lose that. I remember the so first time, my first time I ever saw that happen to, to me, you know, when I did Made in Britain, I, I was shocked, you know. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, and now I'm all for it. As long, you know, if it enhances performance and enhances the. the it's not performances, I think it, it just enhances, it just sort of like balances the movie and, and makes it. No, but I also think you can, you know, you can yeah, create a performance, yeah, yeah, obviously. You can create a performance. We all yeah, know yeah, that, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> many, many, yeah, many times we've done yeah. that, but still. I thought he was working on radiation resistance. I would never have told him what the project really was. This was, was again, so this was a... Uh, you like that scene, right? But yeah, we spent a, 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 good, a good part of a day on, on this. Yeah. And we, I think we, we but it was funny. made a very much a comic book, a Marvel right, yeah. Hulk scene. You know, in a way. That's what it is. I mean, there's two ways of shooting you know, expositional scenes. You mm. either, you know, two guys around the table talking, you know, drinking coffee and talking about it, which is fun but kind of boring. Or you put them in a, in a funky environment and, and tell them, okay, you guys run free and just, you know, take your own blocking and walk around and yeah. I'll, I'll chase you with my camera, which is so kind of started, difficult. And you, this, I mean, you m built that helicopter, right? It's a, it's yeah, this is... Happy and mash. No, actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Actually, the helicopter was real. It was just like... What was it? The, it was a Sikorsky MH. But wasn't it... AH, it was an old piece and then you added... Yeah, yeah. We, we just enhanced. It was like, a, you know, an old piece and we just, you know, once again... Wow. It's just like, guys, don't then. touch the helicopter. <laughs> right, you are. Just poke it. Wonderful. And this, again, you've got Stark Industries, right? Yeah, absolutely. I remember this first time I noticed that. I didn't know what, it, what any of it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Culver University, that's, that's also a reference from the, from the TV show. That's where yeah. uh, I So now... That's the day I didn't direct. That's the day uh, Edward directed that stuff and that stuff and all that stuff. That's Where were Edward you? Were you over with us? I was with you, yeah. I was oh, yeah. directing the... I was with you doing the... Your whole chasing the whole oh, great yeah. and all that stuff. That's that the, day, yeah. that's all Edward, 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 Edward. I think it's, it's good. He's no, pretty it's good, good at directing himself. Yep. <laughs> that's now back onto me. <laughs> uh, I like long lenses and also I added... You see this thing yeah, flying in yeah, the air. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like, I loved it. It's like, uh, it, 
I love that stuff. You know, it's like in in the springtime. It, it's uh, is it feathers? It's feathers. Well, it's feathers. Yeah, we use feathers. And, it looks great, but it's the pollen and floating yeah. in the air. You know. See the green car. It's, I love the green car. I think it's cute. Yeah. It's all these little things. Yeah. Oh, so we got Dallas, Richards, Elizabeth Ross, Quinn Scott. I don't know. These are like regular names. I didn't want to mm. put too many Easter eggs. Yeah. And at the end, it becomes more of a nudge nudge than than a movie. It's good to have him in though. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But I just think. a little bit. Uh, you have to be really careful. There she is. Here she is. I saw her the other day with the short hair. She's Amazing. Cute, yeah. yeah. She's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, Liv, Liv is funny. Uh, the idea of, of Liv Tyler came very late. We we I had a tough time finding the leading lady, mm. uh, the Betty Ross. Uh, Jennifer Connelly was so good in the first yeah. one. It was so tough to replace her. Uh, uh, we needed to replace everybody just because. And although they were good, we can use all of them or any of them because otherwise people have gotten confused. Is it a sequel? It, they would have totally th thought it was a sequel. So the idea came very, very late uh, for her, for Liv, because I was trying to find the perfect Betty Ross, sweet, calm, intelligent, beautiful, b b b pretty, b beautiful, but not knowing that she's she's beautiful. Mm. I mean, the, 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 these women are very rare in Hollywood. Yeah. And frankly, Liv Tyler has sort of disappeared from from the scene for quite a while because mm. she had a, a child, had a baby, you know, Milo. Yeah. She was yeah. So one day I was, was watching TV and the and the Lord of the Rings came on. I was yeah. like, of course, Liv Tyler. And I asked her, and I was really afraid when she came. I thought, I don't know, you haven't seen an actress for two years in Hollywood. It's a bad sign. Maybe she's yeah. gone berserk. She's got her hair. She shaved her head. She's <laughs> yeah. lost her teeth. Oh, that, <laughs> you yeah. don't know. And she arrived. She was beautiful. She had changed so much from the sort of like you know she's become a woman teen, you know? yeah she had become a woman yeah. i mean she had thinned out her face was you know you could you could she had she was more much more expressive and and so I think nice. she, she but she it. very much looks like she stepped out of a, oh, the yeah. pages of a comic it's, book and she stunning looked, she, to look she at. looked even the, the, more like yeah the just right. even her silhouette her face <laughs> it's kind of no, absolutely. but it's she's, from that I it's love, amazing love, she's 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 atypical in hollywood mm. she's really not nice buffed she's tall as you know of regular weight she's mm. like she's she's a real well, real, a real human woman. being yeah. you're a real human being and it's very rare nice. yeah well, you can have the spare room upstairs that'd be so great there's um there's one other thing that's also an element from the tv show you know banner taking the little jobs and here he is Hey pal, I got a delivery on fire. There he is. I don't think there's Do you know what's funny? I remember when I saw this in the screening first time. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I never got his dialogue because people will <laughs> roar. Yeah, as that's the as problem. It's like, you know, and that's what's good. It's not a problem. It's what's good. People <laughs> hopefully will go and see it a couple of times. Yeah. They're like, what did he say? What did he say? Oh, say, man, say everyone, say be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> yeah, people. They they, they love him so much. I, I know. It's adorable. You know, you're the man. Thank you, brother. That's really the you know. Yeah. The torch, and I thought he was really fun. Yeah, yeah, he was he was really wonderful. Yeah. That's that's again a set. I mean, all we, uh, Kirk on somewhat of a moderate budget built so oh, much stuff. This is stuff. underneath the factory in Hamilton. The set. No, or, actually, uh, that was on that was on stage. This thing was on okay. stage. The, the the whole army base was underneath the factory. But this right. was this was on stage. Uh, I don't think I saw this set. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm not sure if I did. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I mean, it really was an homage to the TV show. All that, that. I thought I, <laughs> I wanted to do that share, and Actually, I had this idea. Because, that's not the, what he puts me on. No, well, no, no it's not because yours, yours is a little different. I yeah, mean, yours right, is, right, right. Is, is his thing. He that that thing was like the big chair that you know, yeah. was destroyed afterwards uh, by the Hulk Rampage. That's Martin Starr. Martin, <laughs> Martin's a friend of Edward. Martin is in. He's in. You know. The, the job at Apatow movies is in is uh, in uh, uh, no yeah <laughs> yeah people think it's a joke it's no, just it's, happens it's a to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told the guys I said like, no you cannot have Edward Norton <laughs> be serious yeah, please yeah, Cinematex <laughs> Norton 360 is ridiculous people will laugh they actually laugh but they think we made it on purpose right. so I take it take it yeah, exactly <laughs> take it I'm like, I'm oh, no, absolutely. I'm like yeah, oh yeah cut that bit from the commentary yeah yeah <laughs> See once again, like he's alone acting in front yeah. of nothing. That that I don't know. I don't know how you can. Like oh, it. I, I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I enjoy silent movie acting. I'm gonna call George Lucas and say yeah. you're ready for Star Wars Seven. I'm up for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, a green screen, a camera, and George on the walkie-talkie. Yeah, George on the walkie-talkie, <laughs> and a broomstick with a cross on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And action. And action. Go for it. More emotion. More emotion. Good. Less emotion. Less emotion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll replace your face. <laughs> okay, get Brad in. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, pretty much replaced your body on this one. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Well, you know. What do you mean? No, I worked out so hard to get that <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that you worked at like a reporter? Somebody right? actually said that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, well, I would sit around with with the special special effect mob and say, okay, no, I think I want that body. I want the one. I want Edward Fox out of Day of the Jackal. And they say, what about a bit of Bruce Lee? Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think, I wish working out was yeah. so easy. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, should talk about. Um, well, let's talk about Paul. Sol- well, yes. Paul, Paul, who plays Stanley. Yes, uh, we need to talk about him. Well, he is. He, he is that's another like Easter egg, but like n- no one will know. He's the voice of Spider Man on in the Spider Man comic book really? uh, uh, cartoons yeah. from the sixties. Yeah. And I literally cast him not knowing he was in uh, the score with Edward. He was playing. He was a, he was amazing with him, yeah. and he was playing the janitor. And and I cast him, and one day he told me he's like on set. You know, I was the Spider Man. It, it's that's a, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah, I, I love Ty Burrell. He's so great in this movie because yeah. he, he he sort of like on the, he plays. Actually, yesterday we went to see it in the movie theater. They laugh so much at this. Scene. Well, he's he's Crazy really he, loved, isn't he? This guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ty is like yeah. he's so good at playing the the nice guy <laughs> that just gets screwed <laughs> over that tries to get the vengeance. He is. This is a whole tradition of Hollywood yeah. actors here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying. You know, this is great. You know, I, my wife said she she thought she really pulled this off. This, oh yeah, this yeah, uh, yeah. performance. Is, she said it was wonderful. Oh, she's. But that's that's what's great about Liv. Liv yeah. is, and I tell her she's so naturalistic in her acting. Mm. She's so like I, instinctive. I tell her every time, trust your instincts. She said, mm. "What should I do?" I was like, "Oh, I, I don't know. I thought I would do this. Trust your instinct. Trust your instincts." Yeah. And then eventually, she she gets it. Just tell me. If I saw what I think I saw. I don't know what to say. Please, just tell me the truth. That's quite nice. I mean, this that's, that right, that's kind of fugitive type. Fugitive, kind of, I mean, that's a TV show. Wonderful yeah, TV show, completely. Yeah. There's nothing worse on a movie than shooting with that fake rain. That yeah. thing is cold. I mean, the raindrops are literally the size of, like, shot glasses yeah. pulled on you. It's insane, and and these these poor guys, you know, live, and, and Edward were under this rain. I was fine because I was under my. Well, it was quite warm that day, wasn't it? I'd been out. I went to a restaurant, yeah, had a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and we decided to tap the glacier of you know northern Canada to to <laughs> plug all night. Yeah, all night, and it was like freezing and they were freezing Guys. I was like Arr. and more yeah. feelings <laughs> live live and <laughs> okay let's do another one and they were looking at me like Yoop. there's no film in the camera it's fine we're just doing insane. it yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you cannot put like wetsuits under them because no, no, you know no. obviously live. so they have like you have like they, they were freezing yeah. probably if she had pneumonia the next day it's good though This flare. See that this flare. Anamorphic flare. Yeah, it's anamorphic flares. Because I, I, this we shot with like old lenses that are forty. It's years the same. Old. I, I used anamorphic oh, in you my film that I directed. I I love it. Oh, we have amazing. anamorphic flare now. You know what anamorphic yes. flares make? or oh, anamorphic lenses make actors look like movie stars. It's because you know? it feels like movie. It, it feels, feels like, like a movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, it actually feels like what you remember good cinematography in beautiful yeah. movies looking like. You That's know? true. So, you know, they shot like anything from Chinatown to, you yeah. know, Jedi. I mean, you know. I remember a really mission cool. even and yeah, yeah, things like yeah. that were beautiful lenses. Really, really. Uh, Die Hard was good. I mean, you yeah. really make in and really use the flares nicely just to punctuate yeah. everything. Yeah, I think, I mean, you now you get you get to the point with that then. when If you start that and then you put those flare, flares in CG, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. But those. it helps, you know. I needed something a little dirty, something that yeah. people relate to, something that's like in front of the screen, just mm. to integrate the CG a little bit more, you know, because sometimes when I watch movies in Super 35, it feels like the CG is plopped on top, I mean, you don't feel it. I remember this being a particularly tough moment for William because of the props. 
<laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Do you it's, remember? Yeah. Well, it was bad I mean, prop day. About, do you like handling props? I mean, you're okay with props. You're I'm just, good. I just, they just all fall apart in my hands. Yeah, I mean, generally, I know, like, like every actor. Like every, like, <laughs> I swear to God, Jason Statham in the transporter, yeah. William Hurt, you, yeah, uh, yeah. Edward. It, every time you give a prop to an actor. <laughs> but before, in rehearsal, we're great with yeah. them. No, absolutely, you're really good in rehearsal. And I remember Bob Hoskins on Unleashed my movie, yeah. uh, he was telling me, you goddamn love your props, you always give me props, <laughs> it's all about the prop. I was like, no, but you know, <laughs> you guys hate props, I don't know why. It's always the same with so us. Poor William, we gave him props like, yeah, oh, like, he had stuff, a bad. Yeah. I got to him to do a scene afterwards, he was grumpy. <laughs> grumpy. Also, that, sh that, that scene. It was, what did we do afterwards? It was, oh, we, I think we were going in to do the injection scene. Oh, you were doing the injection yeah. scene? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to, yeah. So that's why I put him in the corner. I said, crush your arms. No prop. You don't don't land all anything. Let's give it to the other actor. Don't even lean against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> if I can borrow some cash, of course. I need to take a bus. I chose, you know, see, I chose to do a lot of, of these kind of like long shots. Mm. Okay. Uh, this one, the one where she comes out, everything, because I love to see actors act. Yeah. And you know, when when you guys are that good, I I just enjoy it so much, and I think. I so think it's a it's it's a, a, a non traditional way of covering a very traditional um, event, which is two guys talking in a room. But I think if you if slow drift, you're yeah. gonna get you're getting your two close ups in one, and in you're one, get, yeah, and you're finishing with your. Well, you tell the story with one, but yeah. still. Then you're back again off that. I think it's so much more powerful nice than shot. cut back and forth, back and forth, back yeah. and forth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Peter did an incredible yeah. thing on so this. So, uh, Tim is talking about Peter Menzies Jr. Mm. He's, uh, he's our DP. He's an right. Australian, uh, amazing strong cameraman. He shot Tomb Raider. He shot, for Marvel, he shot some of Spider-Man 1, mm. lots of Spider-Man 2. Uh, and he shot shooter. I mean, that yeah. that guy is tremendous, and he's like a crane to work with. Yeah. He's so fun. You yeah. can't understand a single word he's saying because you know, <laughs> it's he, true. He, What's that thing he does with his hands? He, he does like he does something. I don't know. Shakes he, something. Something, he's, 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 something. Every time he finishes a shot, he's like shakes his hand. You think it's like what? You, done. You're like you're, yeah, you're done. Spent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then he speaks. He literally speaks like this. Hey, Joshua, yeah. how are you? Joshua? And you cannot understand, but it's pretty much we, we managed because it looks beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I love that scene. That scene gets such a look reaction. Look how buff I look. Yeah, yeah you look remarkable. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that I like that amazing. actor. He was good. Yeah, he's a, he was an amazing, amazing he's actor. Good. Ow. <laughs> the the. These are like, you know, props, obviously you don't get... Yeah, but the design of this, I love this yeah, kind well, of stuff. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, you yeah. know, Dr. Frankenstein's lab, you know, Future yeah. Imperfect. Uh, like, you know, it hurts because it looks painful. Yeah. And that, that, that a good shot. syringe is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> what's this thing? Up into your brain stem. That's Mila. That's my stepdaughter. Oh. It's sorry. You know, Hello. acting the beauty. No, actually, she was in Transported too. Uh, yeah. Very, very... <laughs> But like still, yeah. Uh, that yeah, focus like a, pull was interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. That's you know what it is. I, you know, I've never, I, I haven't invented anything. But I, I but and I love to mm. reference different directors. This is Hitchcock. This is like yes. the, the typical Hitchcock yeah. shot, rack focus, yeah. beautiful. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now this is an interesting time we had, <laughs> a few months. A few months. <laughs> well, the problem is like you know, <clears throat> you decide to shoot a big action scene outside, in a park and everything with CJ monsters and with rain and it takes forever to shoot yeah. and, and 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 you had a, um, a a problem from the outset which is you have sun yeah. you have green and you have green monster yeah no absolutely you know which is an issue but which you I think you guys dealt with brilliantly but, well um, we, we're trying to do something said. different just to do hog versus the, the army well. like the little yeah. hog versus the army just go, go. Those zombies are really crappy. I mean, we, we destroyed so many hummers on these movies. <laughs> uh, they're not solid cars. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the complaint I think that the troops are having. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right oh, and I'm running. Oh, like, yeah. But that, that's was that real running? Yeah, that uh, was real running. No, this was real running. This, this was, was a, real this running. Was real running. Super running comes up later, right? <laughs> Every time we were running, you were telling me, "Okay, I'm gonna run, but tomorrow I'm." Yeah, that's you know, super jumping. run. This is super run. So that's that's actually you. Yeah. 
So explain, explain. Well, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> what they do is they put you between these two cranes on cables, <laughs> and they drop these weights and pull you along. And you have to connect with the ground, but if you connect with the ground too much, running, you fall down. If you are too far high off the ground, you fall down. So it's, and your legs are pumping like crazy, but you're going about 40 miles an hour. There's like a, there's one cable Bizarre. lifting him up. Yeah. And somewhat a, you know, like a suspended bridge. Yeah. And then there's a cable pulling you forward, Forwards, but like yeah. really like on, on like a, on an hinge or something. I mean, yeah. it's going like really fast, like 40 yeah. miles per hour. Or yeah, it's like craziness. That. And, and over quite a long, uh, um, I mean, literally, distance. that's the kind of stuff that it will snap your both your knees if, yeah. you, if you're not careful. But they were, they were those guys. Were. And I asked you, I was like, you know, are you sure you don't want Patrick to do that? Uh, you know, stop man. And, and you're, you're game. I mean, you're like, oh, well, I like if you can, you know, my thing is, if you can, you do, but you, but without any macho crap in the, involved. But the more you can get, the better, really, isn't it? I mm. mean, the more you get with the actual actor in there, the better. Sad. Here, uh, I like this bit. Where... Well, that uh, some people that don't know the Hulk mythology, mm. and oh, most of the time it's like people's girlfriends. They are surprised, and it actually really works that they don't know that he's her father. And when she says "dad," I've seen people in theaters going, "Oh my god!" Oh, really? yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we established. Because they don't. They're, they're yeah, not aware. I, I, I thought that everybody knew, but I still kept in my mind hoping that you know she. And then I, I kept that scene because I thought that maybe it would work. The reveal would work, and it actually worked some, mm. most of the time. That was fun. So that's this that's is like, fun. This whole deal. That's like the that's uh, the Toronto. Uh, the yeah, well, you're back Toronto, and forth University here, aren't you? Of, yeah, it's, it's University of Toronto. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> University and forth. of Toronto. Exactly. Kurt built that that sort of uh, the tunnel. That there. tunnel. Yeah, that, that glass box. Which you brought with you when we came to shoot this. To a yeah, and uh, well, if you see, like this is this is a park that's in some place in Toronto. The yeah. reverse, that stuff is shot. I mean, that this these scenes are really complicated because you shoot one yeah. shot in one location, the reverse in another one, the third one this way. You have to play with the sun. I mean, literally, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. And, and I, yeah, I mean, but we're for us actually when we're on the inside of this, it's it's fairly. It's only complicated in your head. Oh, my I love head. this, by the way. This oh, yeah. transformation. <laughs> the idea, which is coming up now, of a human fighting a monster, I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah. Such it, fun. It was like, this, the, it. since the beginning, I wanted that. Yeah. I wanted to show. I what would you, to do? What the do, same you do fight. Yeah. I mean, you can have like the kind of like the same good. fight over and over and over again, yeah. you know, with like, you know, small tank, big tank, bigger tank, you know, so we need to, to, to you know. <laughs> He's <laughs> pissed. Cool. There was like a, sh there was a version of this actually with, with have been really funny where he was spitting so much. It was like, <laughs> there was like so much spit coming out of it. And Kevin Feige, uh, the president of Marvel was like, no, I can't do this. It looks like he's vomiting on the people. <laughs> people in the first row turning away. <laughs> this was good. This is, this is really what- There's a side on shot mm -hmm. running alongside the truck or something, which I think is remarkable. I, a piece of animation. Oh, yeah? yeah, I'll try and point it out. You carry on, but I'll try and point it out. As well. I wanted to- This. Uh, Oh, yeah, this is uh, just well, that you know what it is? That actually that. was a mistake, and I used it. Yeah. The, the stuntman almost got killed. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That car flipped over. It was not supposed to flip over. Again, that was, that was Patrick, wasn't it? That was it Patrick. Was Patrick, and Patrick double. so fast. It went back in because he was on the turret up there. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. This here is we go. Insane stuff. <laughs> I love this. Thing. This is fun. Yeah, this is this is. That's a great shot. And that me. was that. You know, it's it's more difficult than it seems because. It was it was important to make it feel like it, it actually has weight, like everything has oh, weight. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's hard to animate. Right? It's very hard to animate, and and Terry Notary, who was uh, the movement coach actually that you yeah that you told me about, you know, he you guys worked together on on Planet of the Apes, was really good at doing the movements, the the weight shifting and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, it was really good. And he played the Hulk. Yeah, he played the yeah. Hulk. Yeah, but you were really helpful because I was never there when during the, the mm. motion capture stuff, and you were always there helping them and really giving them like strong direction. Well, they were, they were just well, yeah, but you kept them. You, I know that everybody was amazing, but you really what I love. Once again, I'm being super honest and mm. frank. Uh, working with you is that you always 
try to keep this somewhat reality based. Yeah. Uh, and you, you and I, we always reminded people that it, sh it has to be reality based. Yeah. We, gotta, we have to believe. And and Ed was the same. Yeah, it Ed has to be. Uh, Ed was, we were saying, you know, and hot physics. Too. Yeah. This, it, supposing this is real, then yeah, how yeah, do you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's why we all decided Woo. together that this was a world without superheroes. This is yeah. the first time everybody sees that. You yeah, know? that's right. That was right. Uh, that was our kind of. Move him toward the cannons. So this was this was okay, fun. These are the, wonderful. These things. Yeah, they're fun because they're like oh, once again low tech. This is a yeah. menu. Running this is like a madman. super running. Yeah. Uh, I love this. We missed. Hello. The, <laughs> we, mi <yeah>. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we missed the fight, but this the fight was so fun to choreograph. And, yeah. and you did so much of it. You actually yeah. did a lot. The rest of the stuff was done by Cyril Ra Cyril Raffaelli. Cyril it is Raffaelli, wonderful. a French friend of mine, who <coughs> actually didn't invent parkour, was but was the guy that just took it to a, a, a new level. Like yeah. Stuntman, acrobat, fight choreographer. He's like a, a genius. It's remarkable. And, and those kind of this, this, this is fun, right? The sounds thing. This, this is, is actually wonderful. Edward's idea. I had another really? idea a long time ago, which was yeah, it, it all started from one of my ideas where you had like three hammers shooting some kind of a you know yeah. metal liquid or metal glue right. or stick onto the Hulk, and then you know with Magnus they were lifting him up. So with that traction, no more power. And it, it was a good idea, but uh, uh, Edward came up with this idea of the sonic cannon. Yeah. And I was like. Well, sound is, is, is great, but you know, it's, it's cinematic, but it's definitely not visual. How will I do that? And we struggle so hard to, you know, come up with that design of, of the, so the sound wave. It's absolutely but you remarkable. See how, how the skin ripples. And yeah. Now I'm so glad we did that because it's, it's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at his, yeah. look at the jeans, look at the ripples in his skin. I mean, that, that literally feels. Terry uh, Terry enjoyed doing this through the movement for this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that was funny. Yeah, he was, was getting full. And yeah. <laughs> People clap so much at this. This is actually, I told you know, the sound designers, the it. mixers, that I, I, I really wanted to be as painful to the audience as it is for the Hulk. So literally the sound kills your ears. I mean, it's, it's like so close to yeah, you you know, feel make, it. <laughs> making your... <laughs> this is funny. This gets a laugh, this line. All the time, yeah. This was fun. Is that, is that it? But this is tough. This is uh, uh, this is tough for you because you had nothing in front of you. You have like you know. <laughs> is that all you got? <laughs> We're missing nah. a shot. Boom. So we, yeah. What happened to that shot? Well, because it. it, it, it I just thought it was rather good. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> There was a shot of, of Tim uh, where he gets dragged. I mean, literally, we put him on like a rocket, and the thing was like <laughs> picking him up. And you could see it's funny. It's in one of the like, trailers, I think. Yes, one of the trailers. So it, it, it'll be in the, the DVD cut. But like, where you hear his come backwards, literally, you see like <laughs> everything and the skin of his face like rippling. Literally, yeah. it's like, you know, being like pulled. I don't yeah. know. It must have really hurt you. They pulled me. You hold it. They pulled me. The boys. Yeah. She looks so pretty. Yeah. She looks so pretty. She's, see, the acting with this stuff is great. This The helicopter coming was good. Yeah, yeah. Here come the boys. Yeah. That's actually you know, quite dangerous. We actually put 300 charges on the ground and just blew the them up. And Boom. That's superb. Amazing sound design on this. Yeah, I oh yeah, yeah. Really, that was a well, great shot just there. Glimpse. The sound, the guys that did the sound, they're called Dane Tracks. Uh, really? Eric Lindelman, uh, Greg Edgepath, and 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 Dane Davis, and they all did. They did the Matrix. These are the guys that. Well, did the they Matrix, know what they're doing. So they pretty much know what they're doing. Yeah, they, they, what they're talking about. So uh, sound in these movies. I mean, it's like it's fifty percent of the yeah. movie. It's so important. It's incredible. It's, a, it's such invention. But you know, it's also a mix thing because it's hard to make it. To now make during it, that, yeah. right? Sorry to. Yeah. But but during that, you brought in the rain and brought the light down. Because I well, guess yeah. you can you can rack against you can expose yeah. against the fire, right? Well, to yeah. The... I mean, no, well, actually, we, we yeah we 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 did, but it, it was cheap, like this. It's like yeah, during. I mean, if you saw the whole sequence, you've got yeah. uh, you've got the the storm is building, the cloud are coming. But you chose in, that this. moment to bring it we, in the well, rain. We chose that moment. Yeah. So it feels a bit like you know the sprinkler system went on. But is it like, not, I like it. Or maybe it's an homage to Thor. <laughs> maybe yeah, Thor never know. saved them. Bring it on. Bring it on. She'll be an incredible danger as long as she's with him. For her own. Yeah, that's a good scene. Tie is yeah. right in there. You almost killed him. Give you it's good. I mean, you know, that stuff. See all the scars? That's all William. You know, it doesn't look like a, much because he doesn't have, like, you know, super prosthetic stuff on him, but he's got enough 
he and, and Jordan, his makeup yeah. artist, they crafted this character. That was like two hours of makeup every morning. Just yeah. for, I mean, for, for this, and you're like, whoa, it and doesn't look it, like anything. Yeah. But the scar, everything was like hand painted, like, you know, the wrinkles, everything is like hand painted. It really looks it's perfect. It's kind of war weary. Yeah. Jordan was terrific. Jordan and his dog. Yeah. <laughs> now I know. Where does she meet these guys? That line is actually uh, came later and that's Stephen Broussard who was one of the producers who started on the movie and that's what I love about Marvel is like he started on the movie as Kevin's assistant mm. and finished one of the best producers mm -hmm. I've ever met Yeah, he's because pretty. he's so smart and he loves that. But that's what's great about Marvel. If you have the talent, whether you know, you're know you 20 or 55, the right idea is accepted. And, and th this was great and he gets the biggest laugh all the time. Mm -hmm. so that's okay, this to me is the graphic novel. Yeah, but that's what it is, yeah. 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 So there I met Marvel. In, in LA and they offered me the job and I told them no thank you because I, was, <laughs> I didn't think I was worthy. I, I went to a comic book store and I asked for more, for Hulk comic books and there were a few. Mm. Quite complicated because now it's like, you know, split personality, different things and everything. And they have they had one that just came out at that time called Hulk Grey mm. by uh, Jeff Loeb and, and Tim Sale. Yes. And, and now uh, it was absolutely amazing. Simple, perfect, amazing. Yeah. This is actually no match to Frank Rosetta. Frank Rosetta is the guy that draws the Conan and yeah. stuff. On all this, stuff. It's just the, this, is, this whole thing is the covers. Yeah, yeah. But this is, this is it. So I, I pretty much took that. There's a scene in there, exactly this scene. Mm. And I was like, I want that scene. Mm. Guys, we need to put that scene in it because it's so emotional. It's such a, a, a beautiful sort of like homage to the great movies mm -hmm. like the King Kong or the yeah. Frankenstein you know where where fire uh, sound scares them but they're like you know they're they're trapped you know they're like scared creature trapped inside these enormous mm. you know powerful bodies and and this was tough for live also because it was there was rain there was there was thunder it was me roaring in the in the, the speaker in system. the speaker system there was a I think this is my, one of my favorite moments in the, in oh, yeah, the film, apart from everything I'm in it's <laughs> one <laughs> I seriously this is the one I talk about most I, because this is pure invention you know well, uh, from cinematically I think yeah yeah well just to put together just thanks. to actually paint it Painting. and for the like, actress this, this is, is yeah for her I mean this pure is, invention for, for her it's like it's wonderful it, wonderful it, stuff it's it's superbly crafted and yeah. I have nothing to do with it I just took the pages <laughs> and do gave, that. It, gave it to the DP the actress and the visual effects guys will he ever walk again do you see me smushed you, I see you smushed a bit yeah you do, yeah, yeah, remember that we improvised that makeup me and Colin <laughs> yeah but it was good it was great uh, uh, <laughs> I really love that makeup the makeup was great, yeah. That makeup was actually, yeah. It was really, yeah. we, we, it was me and Colin and trying to go, I don't know, what about if we did this? Try a bit of this, stick that there. Yeah. <laughs> Which, of course, is the brilliance of these guys, yeah. you know. He gets a nice reaction. I mean, that's pretty much what he, somebody that hit a yeah. tree at <laughs> would look like. <laughs> the pulp. So this is, I remember we just... That, that was just us. We just thought about doing that. Thought about doing this on the there day, but it's great. Go. Nice. But it's great. I love that she feels that there's like... Something wicked this way comes, oh, yeah. Jack, and and that's the beginning of sort yeah. of like the you know second part of the second act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, like that. look at look at how thin Edward is. That's crazy. Yeah. That's Edward, and he's hiding it. He's he's hiding his his head because his 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 hair was long at that time. Oh, because it went out. Oh of no, it was short. It was short. Yeah, it was it was short. It was after the haircut. Because oh. the problem with 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 this movie that you know that's realistic is that you know. He's got long hair and a beard, and then short hair because she cuts his hair, and then yeah. no beard. It's 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 quite tough to to do continuity of that. But but between Edward and John Scotty, they the the first lady they they managed that. It mm. was really tough. Mm. That's Edward in the nude, and that's Falling me. The nude. <laughs> yeah, and that's you. <laughs> yeah. And that's you doubling. I quite like this. This is obviously yeah, you yeah. know. Well, we had to add the the steam for that. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> For the kids, but if you freeze frame, you'll get to yeah, see, you can see his bits. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I like this set, by the way. Yeah, that's again. Also, yeah, feels the uh, well, it feels like it, the comic book. And yeah, you don't know right. when it is. That's what's great about these comic books. I mean, they they never drew the, the you know the the coolest stuff. He was always like on the fringe, and they were always going to Hi. crappy motel. Mm. We need to um, um, straighten something out here for my boys. Do they steal the truck? I just have to get my dad back. Oh, if not, how much did it cost? <laughs> Well, she sold that, that, that pendant. So, a truck is like, I don't know, $700 or something. So she did well then? Yeah, she did pretty good. Okay, good. <laughs> no, she, she had nothing. Uh, you'll see, yeah. Yeah, my boys needed to know about yeah, that. Because, you know, <laughs> as far as they're concerned, this is a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. If you're going to go funny, right, this time, Every time we go, we show an audience, uh, the film to an audience where mm. there's that, like a seven year old kid, yeah. they really think that. They want to you know. know. Yeah, okay, this is. Edward Transform. So this is funny. This is yeah. really something that we wanted to do. Uh, you know, address the purple pants. I mean, you can I just like, you know. Remember the discussions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny to do that. This is all, all this footage I like. You do well with this. Well, this is like a real camera crew. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know how to shoot that. I had like a real camera crew, a news crew. News crew? Yeah, because I, 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 I was going to say, it really looks, yeah. it looks real. <laughs> I was like, okay, imagine this. This, this guy's this, are this, funny. These are funny, yeah. They're great Canadian actors. Well, he gets to call him the Hulk. Yeah, actually, that's the first time. Yeah, and you know, if you see that, there's like Jim Wilson, who's like, a, and and Jack McGee, who in the mm -hmm. in the TV show is the reporter that chases him, and and she says it, the, the reporter says he happens to be a reporter for the campus paper. Mm. So it's a little nudge nudge again. Yeah, well, it's good. I have done this. A good way of, I remember dealing with that issue, which which was an issue for you guys, was the abomination thing and the whole thing. I don't, do I ever get called the abomination? Yeah, because at the end, it's Tim, he said, right? yeah, Tim like Nelson says it right, makes yeah. both of it my. Yeah. Turn you into an abomination. An abomination. <laughs> which is good. It's always fun to do that. It's like, you know. I love it. Where, where did the Hulk come from? Where did the abomination come well, from? Well, I remember there was a big discussion between you and Ed back and forth and back and forth about whether you should actually say it, you know, who should say it, how it should. I was, you know, I was big... always absolutely in favor of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I love it. This is a nice scene. There, there, That's there. sweet. Yeah. But, you know, I'll tell you about it. The bigger discussion, when we come to that, mm. the bigger discussion was like, what about the the abomination's uh, genitals? His genitals and his ears. His ears, yeah, yeah. These, are, these were the big. <laughs> well, I just don't understand why the Hulk's got you know bits in you know to a certain extent, isn't he? <laughs> and and I don't. Why would you do that to I, me, Louis? I don't know, Tim. I felt quite uncomfortable <laughs> talking about the Hulk bits. Next generation. This well, watching Evolution. watching this. Yeah, <laughs> oh yes. <okay. laughs> Oops. <laughs> what about I wonder what that brought that up. Because, yeah. <laughs> Because this got a laugh, and this, we yeah, we great. laughed about. It. This is so funny. This. Yeah, so funny. Well, this I mean, is true, right? But you know, actually, Poor there's man. like earlier versions of, of of the screenplay that Zach and I wrote, where yeah. where they actually were making love, and he was actually t starting to transform, and she was the one noticing it. Really, <laughs> it was a little risky, and she's like, you know, she opens his, she opens her eyes, and he's like, Isn't we it? have to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she opens her eyes, and they're actually making love, and she's like, and, and now, why didn't that get shot? Well, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know you cannot do that. But actually, this is super funny. Well, that actually serves it, doesn't it? This is this is so funny. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is this is great. It's quite tragic. I mean, you know, except for the you know, take away the crash part of it all. You know, imagine that guy. Imagine it. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's, well, that's what you have to deal with. Yeah, the, yeah. You know, when you're making this film. And yeah, and this and is funny. Look at you. So it's a man with one. How much did you work out? I mean, oh, tons for this scene actually. <laughs> Lifting pints and pints of beer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> lots of burgers and you know. Yeah. Actually, that's your bag. I didn't replace uh, yeah. it. That's you actually. Really yeah. Good. Uh, no, that's so pretty that's... good because that doesn't look like it looks like a runner's thing, which is what we were after, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? That's that's actually really good. It's oh, it's yeah. kind of sick too. It's, I have yeah, to yeah. Say. I mean, you know, one shoulder is bigger than the other. It's like not perfect. Yeah. What's what's good? It's did like, you now? Did my tattoos make it onto the big monster at the end or no? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah because I was trying to look, yeah, but yeah. He, moved, he moved. Great. That's good. Yeah, I'm ready for Your tattoos are on here, obviously. But yeah, yeah, but I mean, because yeah. I was hoping my boys. No, no, no. no. You, you, you have the tattoo. I mean, you have to first frame it to see. Yeah, exactly. That's good enough. We can't use any of this. They They'll get their answer here. See, it, she says you cannot use any of this, uh, and afterwards she's gonna offer to sell her the panda. Yeah, the I, mean, you know, I didn't realize it was so, you know. Well, I mean, you know, you have to pay attention. <laughs> to what things mean, you know. It's not just fun. <laughs> Don't check your. I do. I do get asked the these door. questions, and of course, I'm the one that does. <laughs> no <laughs> idea. I don't know. It's not a mo It's not a documentary. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so here we are. So this is, is we're about to kick off here. 
it's, it's well yeah close, it's, it's kind it? of like never there's like you need a necessary pause before the big mm. shebang explosion that big but i, I there's the a shot coming up here the truck shot which i like oh maybe after this this was not written like this this is something we fine-tune in the editing mm. room sort of like mix matching everything just like you know feeling that they're on top they're tracking them making uh, ross brief his team while yeah. banner is, is doing this so because the way you felt a little bit too much too episodic you know it was like mm -hmm. uh, banner does this cut then ross briefs his team cut then yeah. they're in the truck so uh, in the editing room we decided to slice it all up and intertwine it and i think it works really well no, I think, and, but it still has a it has complete continuity and it makes sense because yeah. he he has the data he's he feels safe and he makes mm. a mistake he sends he sends an email and 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 shield who for the guys who don't know that mm. is, is the sort of like homeland security in the marvel universe yeah uh, intercepts that message. Intercepts that message. So that's another is, Easter egg for the for the yeah, fans. Is, but but it actually makes total sense because that's what would happen. Like you know, that's a that's a buzzword on on. Absolutely. You know, if you say I'm, uh, I want to kill the president. People, if you even it's going to come it, up. Yeah, it's going to come up. Yeah. Uh, and that's so, where we are yeah, nowadays. Yeah. Huh? That's where we are. This I like. I like this whole because you feel like you're somewhere else again. You know. The, well, you the, the, see that you're shot in Canada because the gallon of gas is two ninety two, <laughs> and it's, you know, we'll never get to two ninety two. It's true. It's yeah. true. So, so no yeah. one has called us on this yet. Really? I, I can't wait to see the, the, yeah. the you know, ten thousand mistakes of the. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, you're covered because it's Marvel World. Well, yeah, exactly. It's absolutely, you're absolutely right. There's something Kevin Feige, president, he, he, he said, well, we should do a game because I, I, I'm i like Mr. You know, detailed boy. Mm. And and then they, he says, we should do a game. The, if you find one of the hundred things that bother Louis, you win a trip to Marvel <laughs> Studio with like, you know, spend a day and you get like showers with gifts. Well, I know because I sat next to you at a screening yeah, yeah, in Texas, so I've already got a few of them. Good <laughs> 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 <Can he, can laughs> <he> go. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I mean, you know, I, it. You always like that with a film that you've directed. Wow. Then. And yeah, w that I've directed, never yeah. with somebody else. No, films. not at all. I yeah, it's always. It's I always try to give the audience the best movie possible, and 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 it's it, it's it's in the details. Mm -hmm. so, I like that scene actually. It's one of my friend's favorite film scene because it makes it real, and that you know. Although I never took a single drug in my life and everything, I know what he's talking about yeah. when he says that it's like an acid, like a you know, yeah. hundred times bigger than acid trick. That was cool, your body replacement. There, you were like very good. Thin. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I actually did most of the work on that body replacement. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You, you giving know. us the absolute the opposite. I did it from a restaurant in Kensington Market in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, like French restaurant. A little French restaurant called La Palette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's yeah. a bar around the corner called Ronnie's that helped me with my, my body replacement. <laughs> I love that shot. It's just one of those things that I like. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of suing La Palette and Ronnie's. Are you really? for, well, yeah, for you know the amount of money that you spend <laughs> replacing your body. Oh, because you enjoyed life so much. I did. It, I the, loved my little neighborhood. In, in <laughs> I think the market absolutely thanks you for it. the business. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for the patronage. Hey, you know. hey, that's uh, Lake Ontario. It's not New York City. Look at that. Hey, but it helps. But yeah. that's a that's a that's a beautiful okay. So I worked. Recently, with the with the cab driver in this. Oh yeah, we were on a ship out. Maxwell, in, uh, his name. Yeah, I, I really love him. Yeah. He said, "Am I going to be in the film?" I said, "I think so." <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great? I, I was I was so pleasantly surprised by the Canadian crews and the Canadian mm -hmm. stuntmen and and and, and oh, most, of, most importantly, the Canadian actors. I was like, yeah. I was so afraid of the out in the boat and and oh, and, no, and, they, and all that stuff. But they no, but yeah. it's hard. Sometimes you hear it like, on TV shows. You hear it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, these guys were that wonderful. Guy, that, Maxwell is so funny. I, I, I was laughing. I was in the back of the cab when he was doing all this shtick, and I was like, people were laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good little cameo. Bang. Yeah, that was Peter Menzies' daughter. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. oh. Next movie. Yeah. Hunter and Cormac. There you go. Yeah, 17. they were at school. They'll be 17, they'll be hating you. Yeah, that's true. Like, Dad, you're a wanker. No, I know. Uh, <laughs> already over it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there he is. He always gets it. He, he gets a laugh even before he's kind of down the stairs. It's funny how much people love him. Oh, he's adored. Yeah, and he's great. I, I, 
he is actually the first one I met. I met him, then I met you that same day. I met him for breakfast. Really? First, yeah. And he was like, oh, I'd love to, to, to be in your movie. And then I, I, I met you and mm. I had nothing to offer you. And, <laughs> and then... And then yeah, you took the free much, lunch though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll take free lunch any time. Do, yeah. but I, and, then, and then afterwards, uh, I, I met but many weeks afterwards, maybe a month, uh, Edward and Liv. You know, mm. But you guys, I knew I wanted to put the two teams in the movie. You know, yeah, that was fantastic. He had such a hard time with all these technical mumbo jumbo. He was Tim? Like, Tim, but he's amazing. He was like, I'm, he's so, such a perfectionist. He was like, oh, he always, he still to the day, <laughs> apologizes for how crappy he was that day. <laughs> you know, I always think of it as like Star the... Trek or, or Doctor Who, isn't it? It's those kinds of, they, it's stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's real. It's, you got to say it. It's, it's real stuff. Yeah. That, you know, I, I think if real scientists were listening to us, we're like, it doesn't make sense together. But like, yeah, yeah. it's, you know, the amygdala, the, you know, all the, the, the all that stuff is real stuff, but still, it's 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 hard to pronounce. It's yeah. a mouthful. <laughs> this is another remarkable set. Yeah, it's amazing. Really remarkable. That, I mean, that stuff. Literally, we we didn't have enough money to. Kirk is really funny because he was always saying, "I don't have enough money to to build the set you mm. want." And he was giving me something uh, even better than the, what what I wanted all the time. Okay, this is the beginning of the junkie for me, which I, oh, I yeah, like. Junkie. junkie was your idea, right? Yeah. It was like, yeah. I always liked it. That, that, this is my favorite. This is such an odd little moment. But you were afraid. You were like, do you think we can do junkie, Marvel, and everything? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, think, uh, this is great. This, yeah. this is great. There's like a super long version of that. Where, you know, yeah. That's the scene I was talking about when, when people were behind my, my monitor and were like, that. Yeah. I love the, your body. It's like so so strange isn't it yeah. I was thinking of um, so like Iggy strange. Pop when yeah yeah exactly look at that. it's like so that. like it's good so this and this again the um, Blades one even on a helicopter yeah the Blades one on a helicopter otherwise we would be in trouble right yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> just so lost that's an operator cool I really like that that shot it's, it's, it's really it's terrific yeah, I, w I wanted this I like this is a I like choppy movies movie. but like sometimes I, I want to see yeah this is fun this is like good stuff like a monster <laughs> My favorite but this line. is good. This was not scripted to be intercut, and this is something that you mm -hmm. know the editing team came up with because it just it it it, it had you know I wanted a ticking clock. I really wanted mm. this movie to be a ticking clock, the yep. race to the finish. You know, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna get cured? Is he gonna you know? Sure. Are you gonna catch <laughs> him before? Are you gonna transform before? You, you know, and and that adds tension. I think it really worked. You can tell me later if you thought it was strong. Also, that set was, that's the amazing set we're talking about. The yeah. extension of the amazing it's set. Really, Kirk, it's yeah. really extraordinary. Look at all that stuff. That's so complicated. Yeah. Uh, and then the back room with all the, when, which we come to, yeah. with all the samples in, that reminded me of Damien Hirst's. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Know, yeah, the pharmacy stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, it's really great. It, it looks like money, I have to say, this set. I mean, it well, yes, it does. And at the same time, it, it, it looks already dated. I look at the monitor mm. with the tape, the crappy tape on it. I mean, all that stuff was very important. And and <laughs> Kirk and Dan and Cal, the, the, uh, the set uh, woman, she was like, you know, the, the, the props, mm. uh, Chris Geige. Yeah. All these, yeah. They all absolutely understood what I wanted. That yeah. sort of like already dated stuff that, yeah. you know, doesn't. It's already dated, so so uh, you, you won't take it. But also, but then it's kind of loved. If you look at these objects around, you go, "Oh, I remember that." And it, it, it yeah, all, absolutely. Yeah. It's got that kind of. It's got a real well, it's the, the, rich it's, quality it's, to it's it. It's the Victor Frankenstein's <laughs> lab. Yeah, even yeah, that, that. That that was that that, that Tesla thing yeah. was like the Victor Frankenstein. Lab, yeah. yeah. And the lights pulsing, pulsating, and all that stuff. That was there. It goes the eyes. It goes that scene every time. So yeah, last night we screened it to to USC. Uh, we yeah. showed it to uh, Harry Knowles' uh, nephew and all this. Every time there's like a child in the audience, he thinks that this was the real deal. Yeah. And he's, he's you know, th these kids are not that wrong because that actually is Edward, and hence mapped onto a CG mm -hmm. creatures, a uh, 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 CG model. You know, these are his eyes and everything. Now we go into full CG yeah. creature, but. Uh, not entirely full, full CG actually, there's, there's some of Edward in there. Um, and the performance capture, I mean, we should talk about the performance capture because... Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd never experienced it before, I was, I was absolutely amazed by it, that you can, I mean, you, but it, you're, you're kind of confined in this 
grid with a with cameras, right? With this in this box, it, yeah, it feels like you know. Because it's just the beginning, but like you it, should explain it. Yeah, it more than, you know more than I do. Well, it's called MOVA. I mean, there's no, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, uh, there, there's a uh, mocap, which is motion capture, where it's like you know you wear like a tight. Suit kind of a little thing, with which like we did for the for, for the for the, the motion capture when stuff, you like yeah. for the action stuff where you capture the, yeah. the movement of the actors, and there's the MOVA, which is uh, a new technology where you paint the face of your actor and you, you know, Cap capture the performance, yeah. the facial performance, all the you know minute details, the idiosyncrasism of a uh, team Roth and everything, and you mm. put it in there. So that is actually Edward uh, doing the his, acting of the it. The acting of yeah. it. So. So although the Hulk and we really didn't want to have the Hulk look like Edward Norton mm. because we wanted to look like another creature <laughs> that's out. well I mean you know from the source material you know mm. we wanted to look like the Hulk from the comic book uh, 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 there's so much Edward in him because mm. he's, he's acting it he's, he's getting it and same thing with the animation there's so, you again know. you know the thing with this is that and I suppose it's an extension of what you're talking about with because of because of that kind of technology the scenes work between. The CG creation and the human being—they work so much better than I've, I've ever seen them do. Well, because I, because and also the way we were shooting it—the way we, you're moving the camera, we, the way we were mo yeah. moving the camera. We we're trying to shoot the the you know the drama, quote unquote drama or comedy, all that stuff. The same way, like handheld, this is handheld, mm -hmm. or this has like you know cranes and stuff like that. The same way we would shoot uh, the the. Uh, the CG stuff. Mm. So, so I was telling the the camera operators, make sure when you're shooting the CG creatures or like shooting the plates for the CG creatures mm. that you're sort of missing some stuff. Yeah, just like if you're the dirty frame. Yeah, the dirty frame. Yeah. If you're like, if you're like following somebody and you have a hard time yeah. following them because they always surprise you, and that's the same thing, you know. Yeah, because you never know. It's as though you're not sure what the actor's doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. like you're in this all, take. That's yeah. like cinema. That's cinema very taste. Which like, is, you know, which yeah. you can see as the frames moving, yeah. even with stuff. Like, you know, there you go. Oh, there you go. You know, it, that kind of thing. The more it goes, the more the, you know, the more tension in the movie, the more tension in the camera. Everything sort of like moves, and everything yeah. is like yeah. handheld. And everything. not this. This was like this was just like a big establishing because I don't want to make it like feel like they're coming full blast into sure. the university. That actually is Steven Borsald, mm. uh, the producer. Oh, yeah, right, that. yeah. Uh, so here we go. That was a cool set. That was like, uh, That's a, oh, I like love this Kubrick set. kind yeah. of set, you know? Absolutely. Beautiful. I mean, there were so many packs of blood in there. And there were like some real organs. There's like yeah. a scene that's cut out where there was like a, 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 a heart, like a like a cow's heart that actually it's kind of interesting in this is that you know you do worry about the sanity of or start to question the sanity of the guy that he's been trusting yeah absolutely uh, and and we're beginning obviously yeah. some uh, potentially a new character isn't it? junkie part two yeah. this is good this is like this is here we go yeah junkie part two <laughs> <laughs> or part three or something part three yeah, remember when you were there I, I wouldn't i was enjoying so much you were like there but i cut it there but you kept on going you were like yeah, was just pacing <laughs> around and like <laughs> grinding your teeth Every animal time. actor yeah <laughs> Get the Nobel for this. You don't understand this, how this, yeah. yeah, all that stuff is good. Too dangerous. It cannot be controlled. This is Kristen Cabot. She's a theater actress uh, from New York, a friend of Edwards, and she was in Sopranos and everything. She, she's like Ross. Is it? We needed somebody that was actually, you know. Doing the rigid, doing. the rigid woman. That's actually is you remember? Is that you? me? Yeah. Well, I mean, partially, <laughs> partially. That's actually you starting the shot, and afterwards there's like a white behind the column, and that's like a double. But it looks like a seamless shot. And yeah. You see that. I remember all this stuff. That was that's, that was fun. I mean, you know, the problem as a director is that you get to shoot that stuff months apart. Yeah, I know. And you have to remember what you shot and the tension and and how you were moving the camera and you have to remind your crew and your actors, you know, yeah. the moment, you know, where they were and and what was happening. This I gave him a real. <laughs> Actually, that <laughs> kind of for real. Here, yeah, this is like. That's yeah. actually real. I actually, actually hit him. Yeah, pretty hard. This that was like <laughs> for all dead. <laughs> Edward, Edward was there, and his girlfriend was like sitting by the monitor, and she's like, "She's thinking that's oh. beating." Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy yourself. Yes, yeah, so I think I did. At that point. But I was all. I'm a Methodist actor. <laughs> Methodist. <laughs> I love that. Yeah.
This is good, this is. I'm not I, sure about the blue ice pack. It's from me on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> idea was that? <laughs> Napoleon, uh, Omar. Yeah. No, the, the blue ice pack, I tell you why. It, it's because he's got long hair. Oh, it, okay. It, it's the old continuer, he was a pain in the ass, probably, yeah. But then he loses it, and it's fine. No one has noticed it. No. Actually, actually, it's one of those things you get bogged down in. Yeah, I actually, and this is this is the thing I get bogged down in because that that these two scenes were there was like three scenes in between of like no. convoys traveling through the streets and and we hadn't shot the convoy and we we're supposed to I didn't know what to do so I just like combined the stuff and put the helicopter right outside the the, the, the you know editing you know, though, yeah. the editing right, as though he was like on the patio of the university. This is a favorite moment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> when you knock. <laughs> Dumpty, if that's what you're asking, he was a freak. It's funny, she, she's very good at playing annoying because, like, she's like, she has like three lines, and then no, but, but this line, and this is like, it like, whenever she said that, she's an annoying bitch. <laughs> people explode, they love it. Well, that was improvised, right? <laughs> yeah, and people love it. And this is really good. He's terrific, he's very funny. But I loved working with him, it was funny. Yeah. The two teams, but you're gonna be. Well, it's really hard to to direct uh, two actors of the, with the same, same name. name. <laughs> Is that think, why you uh, didn't direct it? Yeah, that's why. That's why I was uh, <laughs> back for our service that day. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I love this whole stuff. This, this is, is junky for. This is like super junky. Yeah, like, we're getting like, there now. Like we're actually, getting... that's why I'm not cutting away because I love it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is it. This. <laughs> yes, it should be. This is good. I don't know. Out at night in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The this is a, a blast. It was great doing that stuff, you know, and, and, and that, putting those, make, there he goes. I, I remember when I was rehearsing this, my wife called me, my phone was. Oh, yeah, your phone, yeah. <laughs> and I had him up in the air. Hello, darling. <laughs> You'll never guess what I'm doing. <laughs> That's actually, it's quite painful to be on the harness for yeah. so long. Yeah. You get it. Plus, he'd, he'd, you know, he'd had quite a lot to eat that day, and, <laughs> <laughs> and they were they were giving me a bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> him. Good stuff. He thinks he's cured. I mean, that's it. that's yeah. that, that was the important. It was it was always important because. I mean, it's kind of almost there, isn't it? He's well, almost yeah, there. Well, he's he, there. Yeah. He thinks yeah. that's it. He's, he's, his trouble is behind. This is the stuff we actually shot. This not this. This was shot on the day, but this was shot. The, the rest of the transformation was uh, recreated. The, the set was recreated yeah. in Los Angeles, and, and, and shot by a different DP with a different camera and everything, just because Peter was not there. This I remember was something we fought for. Yeah, we fought for because I think we, I yeah. could use a little bit more. I think. Yeah, but you know, at, yes. as much with as much money as we have on these movies, yeah. money runs out pretty fast. So yeah. we were at the end of what we could afford. So that's great. Yeah, we'd have loved to see, you know, like more more details of the stuff. Yeah. And this is all. This this was important for us because that sets up a potential enemy for yeah, a potential is, sequel yeah. or something. Uh, Samuel Stearns turns into somebody called the leader. The leader, yeah. And this was something. It's funny. People say, yeah, oh, it's a Cloverfield everything. Cloverfield hadn't come out when I shot this thing, yeah. so I'm very happy because when I saw Cloverfield, I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Yeah. And, and this is good. This is exactly is. what it would feel like if something like this was happening in New York City. You would yeah. have stuff flying through. You'd be like, "What the hell is happening?" What's going on? And, that, and that's what Matt Reeves and, and JJ Abrams did on, on Cloverfield, and and that's what it would feel like. And I think that's the right. It's a fun way of. of it's fun interpretation, and I, I love that movie. Yeah. I remember coming down when you were doing a bunch of this stuff. This was good. This is this is actually. I'm talking to this you. This is actually four shots cut together as one. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty easy. My dream, I must tell you, Tim, is to do a movie in one single shot, like an action movie, like che like cheating. You know? Yeah, but cheating, like, but make but it. But like, I think it's so hypnotic. Like those single shots are so hypnotic. I don't want to make it. You know. I mean, the thing is, you shouldn't be aware of it. No, absolutely. Uh, it, it shouldn't be like the shtick and and yeah. without the story. But if there's a story. That really calls it's for that. Have fun. There's your um, anamorphic flare CG, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's CG. We're going back. Why are we going back? Damn it! Give me eyes down there. This is so good the way it's shot. I love the way because you just because that tension you have to keep. Now we're on a it's building and building and building. Mm, yeah. So you can't take a breath. 
all these guys are great. I mean, I love, I love all these actors. This actually really happened. We, we, we broke the axle of the car really? when hitting it. Like, yeah, I love that. Thing. <coughs> it's great. That's shot. Actually, that's uh, that's uh, Steel's guy. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's Michael Kenneth Williams. He's a. Uh, oh, you took that Steel's guy he, out. He's he. <laughs> he well, yeah. Well, no, yeah, because he was Michael it. Michael Williams. He's he's Omar on the wire, <laughs> and yeah. he came because we loved him. Really? Like, yeah, he came for like one day to do this thing because we loved him so much. Uh, I handsome. And sorry. Sorry, that's, that's you. That's just I thought that was gorgeous there for a second. So uh, go on. Oh, no, no, please, please, please. <laughs> I know, uh, I, that <laughs> Let's talk about me. You don't have genitalia. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, that's Ben Stiller's cameo. Really? No. You see this cre these little guys there? The cops, the flying yeah. in the air. Where R&H had like Ben Stiller lookalikes for, you know, Night in the Museum. So <laughs> it's lots of Ben Stiller's flying Is it really? around. Yeah, it's Excellent. Really He's in that film. <laughs> I've always wanted yeah. to work with him. Ben Stiller. <laughs> I like that shit. That's funny, yeah. This is good. This is really character defining stuff. Yes. He's enjoying himself. He, yeah. We understand in one shot why he's doing that. Not because he wants to get to something. He's on a rampage. He's, he's just he's testing playing. the machine. You know, he's yeah. just like, okay, the fire doesn't hurt me. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, let's see what I can do. I'm throwing yeah. cars. Yes, can. Check, check. Yeah. <laughs> this, like, check, check. And two hand and check. Boom. And he loves that, you know. Yeah. And the guys, like, so to talk about, you know, the axle was broken, so we had to keep it broken. And it was really hard to drive. And the stuntman was amazing because he was like, yeah, this is Jesus, good. This is incredible. Yeah, the guys, I remember you, you ran me through on one of the. Um, oh. Trucks right through yeah. all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, the explosions it's, it's, and everything. Yeah, it is amazing. We, we have a super camera called yeah. the Russian Arm, which yeah. which is like a Mercedes SUV with like a crane and a you know sort of like a st stabilized head yeah. in it. And I used it all the time. You, you used really, it on super runs sorry. back on yeah, the yeah on the super run and everything. And it was helping us fly over stuff and really getting a lot of really cool shots really fast. And that's like. One of the coolest inventions in, yeah. in the past five years, you know. You have to take me back there. What are you saying? Remember that guy we used to have um, no, 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 on the second unit it, who was the operator who invented all kinds of Oh, Gilles. Yeah, yeah, Gilles was crazy, amazing. Yeah. Gilles is the guy, he's like an insane uh, operator from Canada. And he was like operating with like a. It looked helmet, like a. Uh, looked like something like Star Wars, didn't it? Yeah, looked like Star Wars, yeah. Like, Nothing was easy. Everything mm -mm. was everything was like <laughs> he he's, he's like a genius. He invented, he invented like so many stuff. Mad that stuff. I, I, and I love toys, so I was using every one. Yeah. This is one of the scenes that I always wanted to put in the movie yeah. where where Banner he turns into the hero here because yeah. he's cured because he, he you know he, he might be cured he doesn't know he might transform he might be cured but and now he has to bring him back well he has to bring him back yeah. that's the real sacrifice so, this is why i must say i think you don't need the shot at the beginning on the ice floor because it almost does it twice yeah possibly not it in the movie be. at least no. but like but like maybe, maybe i always loved it yeah for me. But this is extraordinary and i love this one this oh shit, <laughs> yeah. which i love that stuff This stuff is good, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh? Oh, <laughs> shit! I thought it would transform me, of course. Like, oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... She's good in this. Oh, she's, she's beautiful. She sells it. Looking at a piece of tape on the floor. She's yeah, absolutely. She's <laughs> so holding as much as she can. And yeah. uh, look at the tape, and uh, that's it. This was fun, also. So, this is a classic, this one. Well, you know what I was trying to do with, with some of my framing is to recreate comic book panels. Yeah. As much as, you know, Ang Lee did it so well, but he was very, very much like a comic book and, and was somewhat sometimes alienating mm -hmm. to, the, to the audience because you're like, it's you, you're, you were never watching a real movie or watching something so stylized that it was kind of difficult. But I was, you know, between days, between, you know, it's just throwing the guy, it's funny. Incoming! <laughs> 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 Also, I wanted to address. You see the pants, you know, the, the yeah, pants, yeah. That, you know, all that stuff, the shirts, everything. I always wanted to address some of like a more realistic. What yeah. we, you know, what happens to this stuff? This is great. I love this. this you is heard Young this in the Street. trailer. The Young Street is the yeah. This, is the, this was the teaser. Young Street is the we recreated 125th Street, you know, mm. uh, Harlem. 
in Yonge Street. Uh, Yonge Street is, is like the Times Square of, of Toronto. There's like so much traffic. And the mayor of Toronto, was, you know, Jim Van Wick, our, our executive producer, mm. went to see him and realized that the guy was like the biggest Hulk fan in the world. And, oh, and, really? and, I didn't he, and he said, me. yeah, but please, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. And he gave us like four nights. We can do everything. But like yeah. in four nights, we shot all of that stuff. See how you know I love. I lived right around the corner from this. I used to okay. walk walk to see you guys. <laughs> yeah. when you're doing it, yeah. This is this this oh, is actually amazing. This though. is fun. But this yeah. is taken from the video game uh, Ultimate Destruction, where oh, yeah. Hulk gets to you know you get to be Hulk and, and and use tons of things as weapons, and actually it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is, oh. like, this, is this is actually <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, you know. It's fun. I love it. Oh, a little bit of teeth. Yeah, here we go. I, I really recognize you here. It yeah, like oh yeah. Face, like, you know, oh no, I like that. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Doing, doing. This is good. We had a few CG uh, mm. uh, houses. Rhythm and News did most of the work and mm. and soho cg house from toronto did that sequence and that sequence mm. is, is uh, i think very beautiful and you know yeah Cross. I like, I like oh, the way because we worked very hard on how this guy moves yeah exactly yeah you 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 guys had like a mm. really about yeah, it was like a stop and stop thing, like you know, always like solid couple of months up and down, back and forth. But once, once we get with the early, we did five weeks at the beginning, and that, and then once they, we kind of had it down, how they would move. So. This is remarkable. But this stuff, you know, this stuff is it's it's key animation, meaning like regular old time animation, mm -hmm. but used comp using computers. And for example, the, for example, the jumps and the stuff yeah. like that, and and the fights and everything. This is performance capture. This yeah. is this is serial and, and Cyril Terry, and Terry and, right? you know, hitting yeah. each other. And yeah, I used to see I used to see the boys after a hard day at the office, basically. Oh, it's like, you know, <laughs> but they loved it. Oh, they loved it. But they were yeah. exhausted. But imagine, imagine yeah, it, it's tough. Yeah. You know. Williams, that's actually a little uh, Kurt Williams, the visual effects supervisor. It, it's, it's a little cameo in the movie. Oh, the, yeah. As the Mario brother <laughs> kind of getting his head chopped off. Yeah. Um, <coughs> this, is, this was Liv and William in the helicopter on a huge gimbal, right. getting like rocked back and forth. I mean, they were like, they were troopers, because at that, at that moment, you know, five months, four months into shooting, I, you know, they could have had enough, but they're like, you know, let put put me inside this thing, and yeah. I was rocking them back and forth, back it's, and forth. They really hurt themselves. Look at that. Yeah, all the texture. That's great. That's really. That's remarkable. rhythm and use. That's fantastic. That's just beyond. Keith, uh, Keith was amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's lots of like amazing bits. I remember them talking, telling me, you know, water was very was one of the hardest things to do in on on the skin. Well, it's you know. all the interactive stuff, but I, I, that's what I told him at first. I was like, mm. I want as much interaction as possible. Yeah. Water, dust, uh, leaves, if, if possible, yeah. uh, the sunny cannons. This was my little uh, uh, Wizard of Oz part one. Was like, you know, Mr. Blue. Who's Mr. Blue? Is he turns that sort of like, you know, mm. magician who doesn't know where it. And in part two of the Wizard of Oz uh, homage is, is I mentioned getting crushed under the, the helicopter, which is like <laughs> the wicked witch of the, of the house. The spine. Remember the spine? Yeah. Well, let's talk about the design of the animation. We purposely, since the Mike Tyson and Evan, Evan mm -hmm. the Holyfield fight, know that ears, <laughs> ears are the best thing to, <laughs> to fight. We got rid of the, the cool looking ears from the original design of the animation just to make it more of a brutal, sort of like, you know, weapon kind of guy. Like yeah. And then that endo exoskeleton yeah. that he uses as an armor and a weapon and a weapon yeah uh, and almost an extra joint in the leg the there leg, yeah, between the, the shin and the ankle just given the extra impulse so yeah. I love the little embers there that's something I yeah. beg to, to get to that we add some texture yeah from this I, I, this by the way is one of my favourite and my kids favourite moments the, the sound cannons and I think well these are some stuff I, we really wanted to I really wanted to put not as much but like enough of 
the Hulk I remembered from the comic book and the TV show mm -hmm. in that film. And this is an homage to Zindin Zidane, yep. who <laughs> had put it, I don't know, the Italian guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah, this is I love the way. And, yeah. and the thunderclap is yeah. one of the iconic uh, Hulk moves, per se. You yeah. Know? And, uh, you know, people know what it is. So, you know, yeah. it's like... It gets know, a reaction. It's like Superman's sure. flowing eyes and all laser eyes and all that stuff. So that's yeah. Hulk thunderclap. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, Edward and I, we like, uh, before you were on the movie, we were like rolling around, like trying to come up with these action sequences mm -hmm. and hitting each other. I was playing Abomination, he was playing Hulk. Mm -hmm. And I was like hitting him across the face with like a, a rope in the Marvel office, trying to come up with the biggest, dirtiest <laughs> brawl in, 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 in monster movie history. Uh -huh. Really to make it like as dirty as possible and, and vicious as possible. Yeah, they don't play by the rules, do they, these yeah. guys? And also that the idea that these guys, the, the monsters talk, was something that I remember. It came. It was in there it and came, then it went, went yeah. and then came back afterwards by popular demand because this thing, Hulk is. smash, is and 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 then the smash is really what. It's funny. People people want to see that. Yeah. Uh, they they they, they want to see, and I understand why. That's like the evolution of the monster. Yeah. That, you know they. He's, he's, get, he's in control. That's so brutal. I, I, I once again, great. like the MPA was very nice to us. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. Look at that. He's like, it's good. Like, it should be though. Like, like, kids like, putting his finger in his eye and like he's tearing his bone out and like stabbing oh. him in the hand. And it's like crazy. <laughs> See the interaction, just like all that yeah. stuff was very important. And the camera work is See the amazing. camera? Oh, yes, yeah, so I was going to say, the camera well, that, movement that, here is brilliant. Second unit, I, I, Gary Capo was yeah. like a great DP, and Ian yeah. Fox, and, and you know, Gilles Corbin. Well, that whole this, crew, I, I These have guys, they're like, really, they were shooting so much stuff that was amazing, yeah. and I didn't need to cut. And I, once again, I didn't want to make it too choppy, too cutty. Uh, because I like to understand what's happening. Absolutely. With that uh, when you have too much of that camera movement, I think you, yeah. I think you, it, you, it makes you nauseous after. Yeah, yeah. That. I like that this move with the arm oh, slithers yeah. down. Look at this. That's Bruce Lee. There. See, that's Bruce Lee. But it's, you know, but. But that's fine, you know, I mean, you know... It's, I don't it's, know, it's, kicking it's, a man when he's down, or kicking a monster <laughs> when he's down is... Well, no, because he's trying to get back up, you know, but like, <laughs> like crushing his... Crushing his uh, it was, that was his a Bruce chest. Lee movie, That's a Bruce Lee movie, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah that's interesting. What a thing. It's a big one. That set was amazing, actually, I must tell you. This, this set I was... I saw this just before I left. Amazing. This yeah. was like... This. We, you know, Edward wanted... We all wanted something that was a little... Um, like you know classical almost like godlike yeah uh, it's like a like, temple you know, the, the, you know, yeah. clash of the titans at the end yeah and and kirk came up with this idea of like an old court of law that went down and and in a fire and that yeah. was amazing and and all around was like you know toronto so but so you built this well we built the and set with the columns yeah. and then and then they extended the set yeah. and then created created a the background and, and everything so because i saw I, I would stop and talk to the guys when they were building this me and my driver gordon we would just go over there and just, oh, really? yeah, yeah. and cool. and talk to the guys it was a it was a really good piece of work people were so excited to work on this movie you yeah. know as it's, it was that's what was amazing for me because there was like real energy coming to set every day people were like happy to be on set yeah and and i love that and I, yeah I, I tried to encourage that always on my movies but this was an exceptional one off he goes I think it was, it's very sad. This yeah. is actually another homage to uh, Hot yeah. Grey, like the team sail looking over the shoulder, very graphic stuff. Ooh. I'm rough. And this is like, this is, he's free, I mean, he's in control, and that, that was important to, yeah. to show that in one long, swifting shot where he's like, okay, you know, there's, there's no stopping me. That's some good work by Terry there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, actually, I think it's like some 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 key animation because I think Terry yeah. couldn't do that. Yeah. Oh, really? It was yeah, it was really tough. I think it's like there's some swings from from serial, but that's it. Yeah. This is nice. This kind of stuff. Yeah. The yeah. Look at that. It's yeah, really. It's just you know, it's it's classical stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 nice. Uh, one guy I really wanted to put in the movie very early on, and I, I fought for him, is Craig Armstrong, the mm. music composer. Yeah. Uh, Scottish guy, he, he had worked for, uh, f 
before Baz Luhrmann had done mm. most of his movies and stuff like that. And and I think the score for this movie is again it's classical, classical right? and, yeah, yeah. and heroic and and sentimental and it's what it is. Which I'm not trying to make the hippest movie ever. I was trying to make no, but you know that that once you if you go back to those times, yeah, yeah. those great kind of classical scores for films, I think then it is hip. Well, yeah, it's like you know way. two three notes and, and, and yeah. It's Hitchcock David did Banner. it. Hitchcock did it. David Banner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was actually shot. <gasps> Wait up a there. minute. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, see, so that's to answer you. You keep, yeah, okay, you got, got the there. thing back. All the way. And then he's gonna. Yeah. Right. So that's that's an important shot because mm -hmm. for me that's where the Hawk movie stops. You yeah. Know, it's, it's here, and then and then the next scene is is, is another movie. Yeah. Altogether, but. I wanted to leave the sentence unfinished, you know, and when he's controlling, when he's opening his eyes and he's in control and you know he's going to transform but in control and you see his smirk, that's why Ed Edward is such an amazing actor because he can play yeah. that duality. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Yeah. And if he's a good guy, but that's, we go and do how to and if you want him to be a bad guy that could be the Avengers I, I love that I, I love yeah. the duality guess which one I chose but, <laughs> and then that scene I'm very very proud because that this yeah because that's not the Hulk movie anymore it's the first scene it's a connection that, well yeah. it's the Avengers the yeah. first scene of the Avengers mm, smell of stale beer and defeat you know, I hate to say I told you so, General, but that's yeah. Tony Stark, Mr. Robert Downey Jr. I, I love Downey. I love amazing. Downey. I think that I think the Iron Man was. Did you do something together? Did you have we did a little short film together. Oh yeah, yeah. It was hilarious with Leo DiCaprio the and Tony Maguire, uh, Toby Maguire as our T boys <laughs> doing the coffee runs. Oh, yeah, we should put that movie. In the yeah, we should put it on this. <laughs> he was an absolute delight. I, I you know, there are guys like this. I mean, you know, you um, that guy, but he. But this you know, is he, he has that, charisma. Oh, the charisma! He ridiculous. walks in a room, people just shut up. They just yeah, look at him. You know, there he is, and it's fantastic. All right. Well, there it is. It. Well done. Thanks a lot, Tim Roth, <laughs> my friend. It's been very uh, a couple of fun years for us, right? Yeah. Thanks for the job, Louis. <laughs> so welcome, Tim. <laughs> Back to unemployment. Oh, yeah, I know, really. Uh, yeah, it's just a line. It starts now. <laughs> it starts now. Well, no, it was fun, right? I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it was these, fun. these are these are movies that I don't know. I was very excited to to do such a movie, not because of the money not because of the fame not because of the but just because these are the movies i watch these are because yeah, you know yeah. it's so it's so it's so amazing and so like exciting to be given the opportunity to do these movies these timeless movies you know? i mean it was an exhausting um journey for you i think but you know you know less so for us but it was a very um i was insistent that i have a good time on it and we did i mean we worked very very well, hard but we did no, have a good he, time on it. it was actually Quite exhausting for you too. I mean, it was like yeah, but you know, you it wasn't two years of my times. life, you know. Yeah, but two years, you know, actually, these two years went really fast for me. Uh, yeah, there was never a dull moment. I mean, there was always, there was always something to find, either like a great, a, 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 you know, a problem to solve or, or a way to improve the movie. Or it was, it was always fun, and 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 just the the cast, I was. And the crew, I was, you know, lucky enough to assemble around me yeah. for my first, you know, American Hollywood movie. It was sure. amazing. I mean, you guys, thanks a lot for trusting Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchie, well, you, bring in Frenchie. You, you didn't trust me. We were like <laughs> secretly expecting me to, you know, we were, we were fixing me. your shots for you while you were <laughs> <Exactly>. away. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah, Frenchie left. Okay, yeah. let's do it again. Okay, let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. <laughs> okay, I'm directing. No, but like, put the film in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's why. I was like, yeah. That's why it was going so I, well. I was looking for my shots. I never. Never a hair in the gate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hair in the gate. Now. That's clear. Check the gate. Yeah, I always check. Yeah. Okay, it's done. Uh, no, but frankly, uh, you know, in between. You, uh, Edward, Liv, William, Tim Blake Nelson, Ty Burrell, Christina Cabot, you know, all uh, uh, Peter Manson, everybody that came on, on board and all the, the Canadian actors, everybody came guys. on board. It was like yeah. absolutely amazing and there was like so much enthusiasm in, in, in shooting this movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really there was, was never, it. there was some fear. 
What? Greatest assistant of all time. Who? <laughs> all of our assistants. Oh, Mine, oh, mine's assistant, Jane yeah. Kim. Greatest okay. assistant of all time. Uh, uh, Jane Kim is very nice. Amanda yeah. Kutch of my assistant. Greatest assistant greatest of, of all, time. all time. Only for the French. Only for the French, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but, but you know, I mean, all these guys, like, you know, uh, uh, all, uh, that, the painters, like, these, everybody yeah. was like, there, there was never, there was never a, a moment where uh, or a person was like, that, that, that guy is just not that good, or that woman just yeah. not that good. You know, it's just you know, every was like top. Look at that, though. Isn't that a huge? That's a huge yeah. crew. But like, and that, and that's just first unit without yeah. the visual effects. That you start with second unit now. It's amazing, isn't it? So how many people was it in all? I mean, was it fifteen hundred like people? Yeah, fifteen hundred people. I think it's five hundred or something like that. Yeah, yes. Big one. I mean, and these are just the people that made made the cut into the great sequence. But yeah, like, imagine yeah. all the visual effects people, yeah. like you know. They track you track shots in India. You know, there's like yeah. you know half of India is working. Yeah, that, and that's you know. <laughs> God, the Rio unit. I love the Rio unit. They all got abomination shirts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're, you're really nice. Yeah. Abomination. So, team abomination. <laughs> team abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Run like hell. Yeah. We had a great time, and and frankly, I'm happy you're not dead because yeah. that means that we might be able to do another. Do another one. one. Yeah. I'd love to do another one. We had a good idea though. Remember the? Yeah. You had a good idea. Yeah. Of like opening the door and then you see there him. he is <laughs> and he's off. really pissed off because he's, <laughs> and he's back he has no fix <laughs> yeah yeah you're expecting to see a venetian you see team raw pissed off really really back really in his angry. regular body yeah <laughs> God, <that's shit. laughs> little overweight <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great to do it wouldn't it that would be fantastic yeah chained down in a box yeah anyway. i'd love to i'd love to do it be well fun. we'll see yeah. this weekend Actually, you know, guys, we're taping this. Uh, oh yeah, of course. We are taping this uh, audio commentary the day of the release of the movie. Yeah. Today is Friday, the thirteenth of right. June. <laughs> day of the release of The Incredible Hulk, and uh, it, it's good that I'm doing this because I'm not in front of my computer checking oh, yeah. you know, how many shows are sold out. And uh, well, we're going to sneak out. in. We're going to go in. Um, at yeah. about seven ish. Yeah, we always do that. I mean, it, Sneak in the I always do that, and I like to meet as many people as possible. So, mm -hmm. anybody who wants to get in, in touch with me, like this movie or didn't like this movie for one reason or the other, there's always ways, whether by email or by anything, to, to get in touch with me. And I, I like to talk to people. And I like to meet people. Uh, so I, I, we often, I often go to movie theaters, and, and Tim comes with me. We do this one, yeah. When I encounter, I'm wary of watching films that I'm in. I don't really like doing it, but I've broken that rule for this one. It's such <laughs> fun. Well, I did it with my with my boys, you know. It's fun. I, this is, for this, my boys. This is a this is a this is a movie to be proud of. Yeah, this I think a movie, so. This is a movie that you know, I'll be showing my kids and my grandkids and be like, yeah, yeah. Do you know that's really low tech, Dad? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Grandpa did that. Yeah, I like, know oh, it's not very good, but beautiful. tell him it's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we we started by making yeah, maybe, maybe when you know cinema is all 3D and and like I know. You know like a, and in the middle of the room, yeah, yeah, in the middle of the room, like full of, like sensor sensorial experience. This will be kind of tacky, but still, you know, people hopefully will still look at it with sort of yeah. fondness in, in their yeah, hearts. they'll f they'll find it quaint. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Oh. oh, that was the beginning. That was the beginning. That was when they had a rating system. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Well done. Thank you very much. See you soon. <laughs>